All right, man. Today is Monday. It's October 10th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Snake Draft Monday. We are joined on Zoom by Robbie Fox. Robbie, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for getting me back on here. We've been trying to do it for a while. It's been a long time since my last draft, but I am looking to uphold the undefeated streak. I'm 2-0 and in these things. That's right. So you did nerd stuff, and then you did... Um, we did wrestling yes. entrance themes. Yes. 2-0, and boys. Wow. Oh, you won yeah. that draft. That was without Chief and I. <laughs> Well, he, yeah. he beat us in the nerds draft. That's true. And then, yeah, the wrestling one. I think we set it out because I've never really watched wrestling. That's yeah. like actually one of those things that I regret. I, I was just telling Sitting out or not watching? Not watching. When, like, Because like, my group of friends, when I was like, I remember like specifically in eighth grade, and everyone's like, so this is probably what, two, 2000, 2001, something like that. And it was like the talk, and I'm like, I don't have anything. Like you should, I should have. Yeah, you should regret that. Yeah, I it's do a regret TV it. show from like yeah. a soap opera, from what I understand. Correct? Yeah, but back in the like it was like, so and good. that was like the prime era of, the of 90s, it, right? The like, era. like there's many things that you see in life that could bring you back to childhood. I feel like there's just a limited amount of things you could hear, and like just hearing Stone Cold's glass shatter is just God, one of those things cool. that will zap you into your yeah. Youth. I, 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 I like that. I missed out on that. Yes. Yeah. That and maybe Macaulay Culkin's uh, talk man recorder. Those are sweet. Hey, Harry, who was the uh, – I don't think it was WWE, the dude that was on the field with us when I threw out the first pitch. <clears throat> he was a part of AEW. White Sox, Dave. He was a name, Embarrassing though. this guy back-to-back back. again. You did this last time. You think you learned his name by now. I, do you know who it is? No, I have no idea. Some guy from AEW threw the first pitch out with Dave, and Dave just continues to disrespect He's been on. Did he throw a strike? Guy? I don't know. He was after pitch, me. Yeah. He was he, a little guy, right? He was three, four inches little shorter guy. than me. Bearded dude. He's been on Brandon Walker show a few times. Brian Danielson. That sounds right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it that was Daniel right. Bryan. Who is that? I mean, he's like, yeah, he's a pretty big name. He's huge. Does he know who White Sox Davis? He's my favorite of all time. <laughs> he's listed uh, at five ten. No, this was not him. This was not him. Oh damn! If you watch oh, the video gosh. from Stool Scenes from two weeks back, oh or whatever. yeah. Wait, you said shorter than you, yeah? Huh? Shorter than you with a beard? Like a beard beard? It was like down to his tits. Real beard. ZZ Top. O- oiled, groomed. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's all right. I'll we'll figure f- it out. Yeah. I'll figure it out next time. Um, all right. So this week's draft. Will be the basement draft. In this honor is going to be a good one, by the way. In honor of Robbie hosting a podcast called My Mom's Basement. When does it come out, Robbie? Comes. Uh, it depends on what shows we're recapping. Right now, we're recapping three shows a week, so it's coming out pretty often. Ooh. Let's go. Well, what do you, House you. of House of the Dragon and what else? House of the Dragon, Andor in the Star Wars world, and She Hulk in the Marvel world. So if you're into any of those, me and Clem recap them every episode every week. Uh, my apologies. I haven't seen the, the recaps yet. I just want a quick, what, what are you enjoying House of the Dragon so far? Oh, big time. Okay. Love good. House of the Dragon. Good, good, good. I think that's out of the three, far and away, the one I'm into the most. Okay. Yeah, interesting stuff. You know, you do that, you do some MMA, right? Some, some MMA, some music, a little bit of everything. So it's the Bob yeah, Fox a show. A little sprinkle of everything, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, uh, Carl, I'd like you to explain, like, what the theme is here, like what we're going for <laughs> with the build, build your own basement draft so the origination was was really because of the show that you host robbie so i hope you are satisfied with the cross promotion we're able to bring you Uh, i don't know if i think it's great i went and told glenny balls right before we got on air here and i was like oh yeah we're doing the basement draft and everything you went oh i really running out of topics (laughs) so (laughs) yeah thanks glenny (laughs) but in fairness though we're trying it's always good when we appeal to our guests i've got a little laryngitis here work with me It's always good appealing to our guests, and this is a sweet spot for you, obviously. Basements hit close to home. Now, thinking about it, there's a lot of like sentimental and stuff that happens in your life that takes place in a basement and the time and the air and all that stuff. So we're not necessarily right, it's not about a base. We're not building a basement for a new house that's sick that that's like, like you a can billion go dollar. Like, right. Right. No, like, it's all like, right. It's, like it's not for you, it's not for your own prop. We're talking about a basement where you can like come together. The ideal spot to like kick it, hang out when you're like 16, 17 years old, you're underage, you still live with your parents. Like exactly. that's kind of the mindset we're the in. Imagery there's people that, coming over. It's not yeah. your basement, it's a friend's basement. Like there's you're you're but, congregating and hanging out. It's not like, oh, I like a basement with good AC because I like to take a nap in it. It's like, yeah, of course you do. You fucked it. But that's not the point of the conversation. It's in not my it's your parents' basement, but when you had a basement, there was like like a like a barrier. 
Like there wasn't yeah. a barrier, there wasn't a lock on that door, but everybody knew like what is it? What happens in the yeah. basement? Like that's the basement time, and if you want to like be involved with your friends, the parents, you're upstairs. But once you're down I mean, there, it's it's a free for all. It was a no brainer. So you, uh, you got to go down to the basement. It's like yeah, yeah, duh. <laughs> like, of course. Absolutely. Did you have a basement in Chicago? Yes, you did. Uh -huh. Yeah, I did. And somebody shows up, brings their girlfriend, and then she brings three friends that nobody's met before, and it just kind of it's it, the the melting pot of uh, relationships that come from the basement too. Good. So I'm glad we're all on the same page then. The, what, the image that popped in my head is if you ever watched that 70s show, like that basement. Not totally. some like Agreed. super That's nice, That's the exact witchy. image I got too. I'm with you. Beautiful. Uh, it's rare that we're all on the same page. Yep. And, uh, I'm, it's still bound to be fucked up at some point. So well, let's just buckle and wait for that. I would like to ask one question. I, I propose right now TV's off limits. Like that doesn't count for furniture well, here's decoration. The, I, I didn't have that. Yeah. 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 Here's here. I think that's an, that's an appliance, right? Yeah. 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 But I know someone would try to sneak I it think, in. I think. Listen. I here's here's the subcategories. Let's give them to that. Let's give them that first. A uh, piece of furniture, uh, a wall slash table decoration, a rec game, a system with one game. So you got to pick one game. You're only taking one game to that basement. You're throwing out the rest, and a miscellaneous feature. So uh, yeah. I. Can I tell you something? The TV's I think you have a specific decoration in mind, and that's why you said and a table decoration. I don't know what a table. Oh, are you putting centerpieces oh, no, out there? No, no, no. Like, like, I don't it know could what be you're like thinking. Something just sitting <laughs> sitting next to you, like like uh, for instance, we can uh, just save it. One away? It, no, no, no. It, it's, a beef it's like kit, a, a beef kit uh, box, like you guys have. I'll know. just I'll give it away. I don't think anyone has it. Like fucking. Um, a, a Christmas stories lamp next to you. I don't know something oh, like that. Oh, my first pick. No, was it wasn't. Oh, you motherfucker! No, I, I, I would have felt I, really I bad. Did, See I a little did, look I, inside. I, Eddie, Eddie wants. Okay, we. The, everybody understand. Eddie's a little trigger happy like this. He's sensitive. We're this is a sensitive thing right no, now. No, I don't need an explanation. But I'm just saying when you send out the subcategories, I'm like he's onto something. Oh, he's, I'm got, not, he's I'm got, got something. I'm truly not. He's got something. I'm truly not. Because he doctors it to his benefit every single fucking time. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, I You'll never admit it, but yes, you do. When you put the subcategories out, you know there's he, something. He's got a table this decoration. This is red ed slander. I don't mm -hmm. like Could you read back, read back right. those categories one more time, Thank please, uh, Commissioner? Furniture. Okay. Wall slash table decoration. A rec game. A system with one game and a miscellaneous feature. Okay. Miscellaneous feature. All right. Sounds like we're clear. You better. Um, yeah, we're clear. Uh, now I'm like, I, I swear I don't have anything. You're going to see my pick is going to be very uh, blah. Because um, that's my... Well. I think blah is good for this draft personally, but we'll see. I think sometimes Eddie's trying to like be more inclusive and maybe he was just like, all right, I don't want to just be wall decoration because... Yeah, I thought there could be more... So I think you're just saying like decorative pieces that are in the basement. What'd you say? I said inclusive woke ad. Yes, exactly. <laughs> woke. <laughs> woke. Uh, uh, and then, all right, congrats to Sydney Wells as well for winning the Vegas draft. Kelly did? Which is um, fucked up. Sydney won. Um, all right, we'll, we'll, do the, uh, we'll do the order here. Uh, Robbie, uh, producer Harry has a number one through five behind his back. What number is it? I'm going to go four. Yes. It is. <clears throat> oh, wow. I'll take the first pick. Hmm. All right, one through four, Carl. Two. No. Chief. Five. No. Oh, dummy. <laughs> Dumbass. There's, all, there's only four picks available. Dumbo. Jeez. All right, that's Where's my, that's your my, head at? I, that's, you know my, I, that's my first uh, <laughs> glitch. Of the, of the, now I'm good. I got it out of the way. I'm ready to go. I got a whiff no, on this confused. before. Are, are, you, are you in a good spot for this draft? I got a whiff before we came in here that you might have, like... Are yeah, you comfortable with the yeah, topic? Oh, yeah. Okay. oh yeah, yeah. Chief yeah. didn't have uh, basements at his prep school. Do you? I uh, mean, we. I'm the only person in this room. Harry's been in my parents' basement like many times. How is it, Harry? It was, is he gonna get fucking smoked today? Holes in the wall. Yeah, um, we had a lot of hockey pucks yeah. and stuff through <laughs> that, the wall. That makes yeah. a basement, though. Yeah, that All makes right, a basement. One through four. Uh, one through four. Let's go two. No. Four. No. All right, one through four, Carl. Well, he fucked up. Well, so I mean, I, don't, I didn't hear three, did I? I'm not paying any attention it either. Doesn't need to be three though. Could be one. Are you in a good place for this draft, <laughs> Carl? Nobody's paying I was attention. <laughs> God damn it, Harry! What's the fucking number? Three? No. <laughs> I it did because he fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is you. he should uh, not be able to get this. Man, if you if, if you miss it, if you double bad. miss, that's <laughs> I am gonna double miss. Wasn't paying attention. 
Two? I don't know. No. <laughs> One. Yes. Yeah, dude, I knew that. I knew it from there. All right, wow. What spot do you want? What do you want, dude? Uh, I don't think draft order so matters to, for I, this draft, by the way. I'll take. I'll take three. Uh, one through three to me. I'm gonna take. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'm gonna take three, Harry. Yes. All right. I'm gonna take number two spot. Uh, one or two, Carl. Uh, one. Yes. <clears throat> I'll take. Uh, I'll take the last spot available. Okay. So the order is Robbie, Eddie, White Sox, Dave, Chief, Carl. The basement draft will be underway as soon as I talk about our good friends at Miller Lite. Dave, what do you like about Miller Lite? I think the more more appropriate question would be to ask what I don't like about Miller Lite, and it is nothing. I love everything about Miller Lite. It's beautiful. It's uh, light beer that actually tastes like beer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's brewed for people who want light beer to taste like, well, beer. Chief and I are in a weight loss challenge as of today. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many calories? Only 96 calories. We're not, you know, in how many is carbs? the weight loss challenge still going on by the day this episode airs? <laughs> <laughs> Will this weight loss challenge survive Maybe weekend? Not. <laughs> yes, Maybe not. We're recording on October 6th. I also, do, I mean, I know it's the 108 weight loss challenge. I don't like that you jumped in after I jumped in. I, I do it every year. I just didn't see they announced it yet. Mm. Well, I mean, you didn't yeah, do it last you should back. I, I mean, I, Chief. it didn't work. Anyways. Um, listen, we all love Miller Lite, 96 calories, 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Uh, to get Miller Lite served right to your door, visit MillerLite.com slash Redline, or you could find it pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. Uh, celebrate responsibly, Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Uh, go get some Miller Lite. Enjoy this draft. Uh, one more time, the draft order, Robbie, Eddie, White Sox, Dave, Chief, Carl, one more time, the subcategories are furniture, wall slash table decoration, a rec game, system with one game, and a miscellaneous feature. Robbie Fox, you are on the clock. So I picked the first pick in this draft. I selected that because there's a lot of categories with a deep draft board for me. One category that doesn't have the deepest draft board for me is furniture. Maybe I'll be proven wrong in this draft where I'm like, oh, I could have picked that. I could have picked that. I could have picked that. There just weren't a ton of things that came to mind for me. So I'm going to go with that first, and I'm going to go with a, a Stone Cold Classic. Every basement should have a Lazy Boy. Mm -hmm. Come on. You want to get down in that Lazy Boy. You want to watch the game, crack a cold one, rip a joint. Whatever you want to do, that Lazy Boy is going to be there for you. A nice recline in it. It's beautiful. You could make a basketball out of the material of a Lazy Boy. I'm going with oh, a Lazy yeah. Boy first pick. Yeah. You, the strong thing about a Lazy Boy is everyone uh, has the same spot. You know, there's yeah. no complaining about this spot's better than that spot and another piece of furniture. But uh, that's what's nice about a Lazy Boy. The only thing with a Lazy Boy, if we're talking about like your your parents' uh, basement, is he, the, the king of the house has yes. claim on that. So like if it's ever a situation where like you're down there, you're watching a game and your dad comes down, your ass is out of that seat. Yeah. And one, if, if it's a multiple Lazy Boy household, mm -hmm. one or, might be better than the others. Yeah, I think the one in the basement is the one where the coil f is fucking broken. Yeah, yeah the handle a little bit. explains you to up. fucking China when you just rip <laughs> yeah. it out. You know? It's made of the fabric that was <laughs> yeah. trendy when your dad bought it, yeah. and now a more I trendy fabric is available, so that's the one you get. It probably has a cover over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a blanket. A, cover, yeah. Yeah. a lot of times they're just like thrift store Lazy Boys, too. If it's and I, like I said, I'm building my basement as if like you know it's just normal middle class house, not some super ritzy with Italian leather and all that shit. Yeah, just like a nice couple hundred dollar lazy boy you plucked off Craigslist or something. Yeah, you're not you're not drafting wine cellar. Today. Exactly. Yeah. I got a confession though. I hate going over to somebody's house and they're like. Like you're in your butt, and they're like, "Yeah, that's what, that's my chair. That's where I sit." Like it's just uncomfortable, and it's like you know, there's like, like if I go over to my buddy's basement, we're watching, I don't know, like a March Madness game or something. And I'm not being too specific, but and and I I, I yeah. Do you know I mean, what I'm saying? Where like you're in somebody else's house, and, they're, and you're sitting there, and it's like, get up. That's my spot. Like you know, like oh, as soon as Eddie gets back from the bed, or Eddie wasn't paying attention, so we're sitting there watching a game, and then, like, you come over, you're like, dude, Carl, get up. Like, that's obviously my recliner. You're in my basement. It's like, oh, so, you gotta oh I'm have sorry. you got a cooler host than that. Yeah. yeah you weirdly, have a host that's just like, I'll let you sit in my chair for a bit. Yeah, I feel in most ways. Like, it happens more as, like, adults, no? Like, if you were by your buddies, and like, this is where I watch football. Like, I, I could see that. She happen. got alpha by uh, Kelly last no, week. No, I alpha. She tried to. Oh, I, alpha, well, I think it's I easier to do it as adults. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, no, I know it's a good point. Though. And, and uh, 
Lazy Boy's a brand. You're 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 picking a recliner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like what what? It's where like Kleenex another? and yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Recliner. It's a good pick one overall. Yeah, yeah, number one yeah. overall. Um, all right, it's to me. I I didn't think recliner would be the first one off the board because I just I just don't think there's anything better than a nice L couch. It's uh, a that sectional would be my pick. Yeah, sectional. Yeah. yeah, I don't think anything's better than a sectional couch. I really don't. I will. I agree with you because you know you can get a lot of the same benefits angles from a lazy boy. I find lazy boys recliners like you're. You're. I'm not taking a nap on those. Exactly. You can't so, go sideways. I, yeah. Oh I, yeah. Sure you can. You just got to be able to recline enough. I see. I feel like I never get the right. Maybe what are you, I. Top maybe, heavy? maybe I. Got, are you? Are you sending? Oh the lazy no! Boy I'm bottom heavy, top? Bob. I'm bottom heavy. I'm so bottom heavy. <laughs> We're going to oh, be yeah. in New York next week. Yeah. Just take a gander take a at that axe. It, it does not look. end. We're doing this. Stand, sh- stand up, yeah, turn go, around, we're, show Robbie. We're, we're right. doing a wait. We're me, doing a, a, a. I mean, how many times are we going to do this on this show? <laughs> hey, come on. If you're watching on YouTube. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. He's got a dumper on him. Yeah. So it, we're doing this. The weight loss challenge, as Dave said, there's no weight coming out of this ass. This is a permanent, like all my weight is in my gut and my tits. The ass is just always thick no matter what shape I'm in. It's true. Fair enough. Yeah, I can. Vouch. I picked recliner over couch. I thought about it. There's nothing I personally love more than a couch, but recliner. Lazy boy said more basement to me. When I think basement, I just for whatever reason I know we said we think that's fair. Show, yeah, and that's a nice couch. But I just think maybe it's because I had one in my basement growing up, recliner that I would hit Hardy Boys moves onto and whatnot. I think I broke that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course, like I said, I kind of con my own pick with Robbie's pick is there's always. A bad spot on the L couch, right? One that doesn't face the TV, like that's that yeah. the corner, the wedge. The, well, I think the corner is the best. No, because I if like you're at like corner. a Super Bowl party and there's just more people than you need to have on it on a couch, yeah. I'm not saying a comfortable wedge. I'm saying when it's the last spot near the wedge. Yeah, you don't get a cup holder usually. That's always tough. You're le- you have to lean for you have to lean so forward. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, you yeah, can't really not, throw your yeah. back up against anything. It's like sitting at Fenway. Yeah, you're not. No, that's strong. not like Fenway. Whereas it's like Lambo. You're not throwing yourself in. Um, That's such a rare occurrence where the that couch is jammed up, though. Most of the time, you got you got three seats to yourself. And oh, you, yeah. you stretch those legs mm. out. I feel I feel like sectional is a strong, strong. Now, leg. do you nap facing the TV? Do you nap north no. south or do you nap east west? I'm and lay I'm perpendicular like this with perpendicular. Okay, and where your head is on the side, like you're that. staring at the. TV. And I have to always be on the same side. I have to be laying on my left side. Oh, your creature habit. Yeah, you're a very particular person, and peculiar. I and mean, I'll sometimes like I'll be laying around on a Sunday for so long that my side starts to hurt and it's like borderline. I'm getting bed sores. That All I'll right. try to flip to like my other side and lay like this, and it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> just doesn't work. All right. I one more question about sofas or sectionals. This is sectional, right? Yeah. So this yeah, love yeah, yeah. seat or no uh-huh. this sectional sectional yeah all right what fabric i brought up fabric for recliner but i think this is actually so like for a big couch do you prefer leather microfiber do you like the cloth no leather i'm kind of kind of out on i that don't part. like leather either yeah. I like that hair. feeling where it's like your skin gets a little stuck to it yeah. it's sticky yeah yeah i actually think leather seats in cars is overrated too do you agree yeah. I do too. yeah the heat it's the no heat good. oh yeah summer leather is brutal yeah, yeah, you gotta like turn the AC on and let it cool down so you don't burn your skin. I mean, Dave, you sixty one degrees right now in your house. Well, I mean, in the summer with the leather leather like passenger seat or driver when you're getting in the car, it's fucking hot. White Sox, Dave, you are up. I don't want to go furniture or I don't want to go furniture because I'd be drafted in the third best in the first round. So I'm going to go the best uh-huh. of the C, uh, system with game. I'm going to go in 64 and Goldeneye. I would spend fucking days playing that game with the boys in the summer till 3 in the morning, wake up, play it again. Fist fights would inevitably occur. Screen lookers. I hate screen lookers more than anything. That's why I love online gaming now because you, know, you don't have to deal with screen lookers. Ed, tell them about the screen lookers. It's bullshit. It is bullshit. <laughs> Especially if you're a rod job, you're a pussy. Yep. Um, a lot of just a lot of great things you could throw back to when you talk about Goldeneye. Goldeneye was great. Um, and for people that know, we did say you could double up systems. You just got to take a different game. Like mm-hmm. that's the key. Oh, thing. Okay. Yeah. So it's like you, um, 
we want that caveat where it's like, well, if he has gold, and I was like, oh, I don't want to go by Dave's house because Carl has the same system with this game, you know. So, like, Fact. so you could do that. Um, if you're gonna gold and I, I don't like. Is it even a con? Can you con it because it hasn't held up? I see that I'm kind of a kid who now. missed out on Golden Eye, oh, and my you? first time playing it was at Barstool HQ, the HQ two actually, no shit. and played it a couple games. And to be honest, we were like, eh, not into this. Wow. Who'd you play with though? It was me. I think it was Riggs. I think it might have been YP and maybe Trent. At this, this is probably like when HQ two first opened. This okay. is like early, early HQ that, two. That saddens me about Riggs and Trent because they're of they age. should be in the wheelhouse for that. No, game. Yeah. but I'm positive. I think it was Riggs. I'm not positive Trent was there. It, it was someone the else. game. No, but I'm telling you, if you, if it you might, it might it right have actually now. been a different blogger who blogged about Rihanna once. Oh, oh okay. okay. Thank you. No, I'm telling you, if you played it right now, you'd think it's not good. Either. I've played it. Really? Yeah, it's, it hasn't held up. I, okay. It hasn't held up. Sadly. Sad, yeah. I, I don't say that with pleasure. But, like, you could talk about. But I, I yeah, still think we'll, it's a we'll good get pick there. Yeah. because of the nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. See, I feel like if I went to a basement right now and put fire that game up, I'd be jacked up. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the great thing about it is with the four controllers, if you have that seven guys, you just get yeah. the rotation yeah. where it'd be like two low kill counts are out. The problem with GoldenEye, though, is. <clears throat> Everybody grew up with somebody who was just so much better than everybody else that in the room. Me. And so it just kind of sucked when it'd be like, I mean, Dave. I mean, it was me. You I know, like, it the was RCP 90s I never. I played Call of Duty with you, Dave. Oh, I suck at it. Your video games, games passed me by. They passed you by. Okay. Big time. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a that was a thing for me. I got a brother who's 10 years younger than I remember playing him in like, I won't say the name of the game, but it was just like, oh, like my time is done. Like, I just kind of retired from video games right then when he was, like, 11. Look at those fingers. I used to mash fucking yeah, those buttons. The more I, like, learn about you, the more I realize that, like, your peak time in your life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. like, 2000. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, Maybe 90. know that? Well, it's just, like, I keep, you know, people go on usually, hopefully, have an upward trajectory. But he was, like, I was the most dominant midget football player ever. <laughs> uh, I was the best at Goldeneye. All these things were like you had a heyday. I still am you, trying to dig up. My you had like a dynasty. I'm trying to dig up my middle school football highlights. Yeah, middle school. A lot of self proclamations. Every time right? I touch yeah. a ball, just gone. A lot of self proclamations. <laughs> probably, probably the first you know, year. I wish I shaving. did run into somebody. Oh, by far. Who did grow up playing football with Dave? And I wish I knew it better, but Dave, I'm sorry. But yeah. Dave did get validation to me in life. It was recently. It was like two weeks ago. Someone came up to me and they were telling me they're like, "Yo, I grew up with White Sox Dave. I'm gonna remember it before the end of the show." <laughs> the name? I can't. I'm not even the circumstance of this conversation, but it happened within the last two weeks. Okay. All right. Well, N64 with Golden Eyes gone. Uh, Chief, you're up. So I do. I also think furniture is the lightest uh, category, and I feel like I don't want to miss it on the wraparound with Carl. I'm taking a card table. So a card table for the basement, like that was something I like when I was in high school, I didn't we didn't have one. But, you know, like I had a buddy who had one and then like poker nights. Who was the big poker guy? Um, Chris Moneymaker. Like that uh, was he's big time canceled. I'm pretty sure. Is he? Well, in like, in 2003, sure. he Maybe. was on top of the world. And so like that's I feel like that's when poker became huge. So we started having poker nights like I feel like all the time we had like a run of like maybe a summer where it was just like we were just doing poker nights and somebody had a card table like it nope. was always in their basement so this was on my board it's a fantastic pick it is a staple of a good basement in my opinion i would agree like everyone has that but if you everyone has a place to sit yeah but an actual table is that's like oh all right yeah like, we could do this here yeah we could fucking trade this we could we could play this uh strong it was on my list you find out about Chris Moneymaker yet? It was uh, it was Fossil Man. No, Fossil Man, he just got busted trying to get a hooker, I thought. I thought it was worse than that. Oh, yeah, you're right. It says prostitution. Okay. Solicit and hookers, come on. Oh, that's fucking guy won $5 million at the World's. Let, let him be selling. With fucking dinosaur glasses. Uh, anybody else? Card table? Card table's good. Love it. Only, <laughs> only thing I don't like is if it's super nice. And it's like, hey, my dad just got that. Be careful. Because we had one of those in our circle of friends yeah. where it'd be like the coasters or the mom would be bringing down fucking, you know, another round of buffalo dip, keeping an eye on the table, looking at the table. Mm -hmm. You know, that table converts into billiards. That's a great call, Carl. I think the more written over with Sharpie the head of the table is, the better. 
Yeah, just like a, yeah. a crummier one. Yeah. My my buddy had one where everyone that had been in the basement signed the table. So by the end of it, it was, you know, oh, it was just everyone cool. in like town that. had pretty much signed it. And it, it was cool. It was cool looking. Those were the – we we would throw poker tournaments where we would need multiple houses. And like the World Series, we like, you know, tree up and have a final table in there. Like 100 people, $10 buying, whatever it was. That Those were the good old days. Yep. Yep. That was fun. Uh, good pick. Good pick. Heavy furniture first round. Heavy furniture. Carl. Um, okay, I'm going to take the first rec game. I think this applies, right? Now tell me if I'm wrong because I don't know if this is a piece of furniture. But um, I would like to take a ping pong table. No, I, I definitely apply. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. But for what? For what? I had the rec game. It was rec game. I right, think it okay. touches. It touches a lot of things. And and just quickly about ping pong tables before I open this up about ping pong and other rec games, the conversion into the drinking game stage where it, it's like when you're a freshman in high school, you can play ping pong in that basement for hours on end. And then there's just like transitioning as you get older yeah, in high school, up. and you're like, yeah. hey, maybe we play a little ping pong. Why don't you put the net away though? And then it just keeps turning. And and then as you come home from college and you're in that basement, you guys are getting together like the whatever, Tuesday, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and you're still playing on that same ping pong table that you were coming together for years. I have one of those in my life. It's just a great, and I'm a, the worst ping pong player, but we would just be pounding away. I'd just be getting my ass kicked. And it's just like the best knowing that as soon as we're done, the beers are coming out, the red solo cups, uh, ping pong tables, they, they, they just do a lot of damage. And it's by far the most like aggressive and uh, rec, rec game available. Would you ever play the game with your brothers where you would convert ping pong into a drinking game, not beer pong, obviously, but whoever lost, you would have to lift up your shirt and, and they would whack the ball as hard as they could. It would leave a decent sized welt. It would sting a little bit. We did that, but like facing the other way into your back, not your stomach. I would just lift the shirt up over my face and White just let her rip. He was looking for nipple punishment. <laughs> he was a <laughs> savage, yeah. It's true. I also think it's like a thing you get like, not that ping pong's lame now, but there are much other recreational games I play at this age above ping pong and would put in a basement. But going back and being like, all right, if I'm at this age and we're hanging yeah. out in the basement, we're trying to have a good time, party, give me the ping pong table. Yeah, and I think the, the big selling point for ping pong is that it's four games in one. You can play ping pong, but then you have beer die, you have flip cup, and you have, um, I'm missing one. What I say, beer die, die, beer pong, beer pong. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like you have like the three staple drinking games are out of that pick. I think that's the play. And I love ping and that's pong when why, I was a kid. But yeah. you, you didn't even mention it turns into a poker table too. You don't need the actual felt nice that's ass nice poker too. tables. Yeah, that's a nice. That's why I would have drafted ping pong table and other things well before card table. Even though a card table is yeah, a card different shape for though, furniture though. It's, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it, okay. it is different. Yeah, yeah I, I'm just putting ping pong right because that's yeah a ping pong table. Yeah, yeah, so like people get it like ping pong. You're no, I want pong. it's ping pong. We're oh, a that's I want a good ping point. Pong yeah, table. that's a big. That's a good what? point because it's Why? rec. It's rec what is game. What's going on here? It always does this. Robbie, what is going on to Why? you? Right no, 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 Robbie, what do you with that? It's ping pong. It's under game. Totally. Yeah, it's under game. So you don't get the drinking games. Well then, you only what get are ping we pong. doing? Well, I'm, I'm what just are telling we you, doing we're, we're, in the basement? <laughs> I mean, I'm just <laughs> so like, all right, I got to take a game in that. Oh, so but it's that just the game? game. I don't the, see. Don't, this but, is where we get all. I'm I, I think, so it's just a game. Qualifies the other games. No, no, I think you write it as ping pong, but I think it's like an understood. Thing yeah, hundred percent. Yes, hundred percent. This is where Red Ed gets fucking shoved into a closet when it, I clearly said rec game. Yeah. No, you're right. Rec you're game. Right. Yeah, all right, but I'm, I'm like picturing the basement. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing the ping pong table. Yeah, that you're going to totally. Like you're telling me it's more of like a the sport, the yes. activity. Yeah, which yes. is fine. The, yeah, like, no, it's, the, it's a good spiritual game. activity. No, ping pong's of fun. Sorts. Yeah, ping no, it's fun. a great time. Yeah. Uh, that is, uh, that's disappointing that I can't hang my head. I like my brain. I'm, I'm, people are going to be so mad at me. <laughs> the comments are going to be like, shut the fuck up, Carl. I just don't get it. Well, I'm sorry. I see both sides, and I was on your side. What side are you on now? So now if, like, someone brings up another I think it's a stupid technicality. Game, like, the convenience of all, you, all of the great stuff about having a ping pong table mm -hmm. is thus nullified. But I don't think it is. If you listen, sure, if you look at the graphic, but if you listen, you know rec well, game is like, a thing. 
chief drafted poker table, right? On for a piece of furniture. That doesn't mean that you can't not play poker. Correct. On it. Well, yeah. It's a card table. But, but he's yeah. got, but yeah. in card my table. mind, he yeah, has a you know card I mean. table yeah. in the room. I just have a fucking bag with ping pong paddles waiting yeah, for a phone that's call. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, hey, no, there's dude, a tournament down at the YMCA. We're going to check it out. No, no, no. This Get, is, grab no, the paddles from the basement. Stupid. I know that's where this, you like to this, fucking. This is what I want for the graphic. It's enjoy the, the sport. The one where they convert it. So it's like faces up. He's just playing by himself. Yeah, but it's got to be in a public space. It can't be in the basement. Solo ping pong. That's what I've got. As long as it's not on my property. Like, uh, okay, Forrest first Gump. round. My my least favorite yeah. first <laughs> yes, round pick yeah. of all time. And I had stressed so much going into this. I was like, I got to understand what we're talking about here. I want a setting. I want all this stuff. It was great and, discussion, uh, but you get ping pong. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I got a ping pong now. I get that's fucking, not bad, though. We're getting, no, dude. No, you're got, making this worse for yourself. I think that's not bad. That's a fucking right. good rec game. It's the, also it's a lot of fun. probably the most entertaining to watch if you're like out, if you have to sit. Yeah, I mean you can't get too close. People, but you're people watching. You're like fucking sweaty. Yeah, but that's I don't know. That's how a, big are your basements? You see people getting angry. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Banging the paddle. Yeah. Is that yeah. why you're doing this to me? Because you want to see people get angry. You're like, <laughs> no. oh, we can't wait. No. All right. Make second was round. it Jake? Round. Jake Marsh stood over. Uh, I am was the that best Hank? in the office. Yeah. Yes. Was yeah Hank. He said, I'm the best in the office. Yes. I'm the best one here. I'm the best one here. He, there was like yes. conviction and anger in that too. Like yeah, that would have happened. Switch. He's a psycho. Yeah, he's that would have happened if no cameras compete, were rolling or anything. Dave, have you ever seen yourself throw a fastball into a speed pitch thing on a White Sox outfield concourse? You get fired up for that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's how Jake Marsh feels when he's standing on a ping pong table and someone's standing. I, okay, down. so okay, I understand now. I understand. Carl, Just a special again. place for him. All right, um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a category. I believe I understand. And <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. Shoot the fuck up. Uh, I'll take N64 Mario Kart, which is actually the first overall pick in the draft. Four controllers, fucking things flying around. Sorry, Robbie, if you grew up in it, you would understand where we're coming from. It was like right before video games were good enough. It was uh, just chaos because you could just fuck people over. You know, you're at the end, you get the red shell. Yeah. Just the concept of uh, just consistently fucking you get the your buddies over. Bolt and they shrink and nobody can really be that much better than anybody else like maybe somebody Tell is like better smitty. sure i know smitty no i'm gonna get that's gonna get clipped. i've actually beat smitty that's gonna get clipped and i'm gonna have like a call out no i was i, I was bad at that game shit. though i'm sorry i got lucky smitty. In, um no i just realized it's a great game first overall. with the evolution of video games i don't think that a lot of our listeners are going to be able to identify with the basement because that video games in the basement now it's just all online and you're alone a lot of them can i'm not i don't when i think of like who i'm talking to right now i'm not talking to no friends rob I'm, ta I'm talking to like my of course the people i of course but there so are like a lot of people listeners. that are listening they're like i don't know if that's a good pick okay fine listen to me it's a great fucking pick go get no N64 it is a great pick Mario i agree with you but i'm i'm looking at it from both perspectives what do you think ed there's going to be a lot of kids I, uh, that don't go over their boys' house and play point. video games anymore. To, to I don't think so. I, I think I think. Why are we drafting it then? To remember that. Oh, you want me to take I'll, a later thing? Well, I, I said, said I like, like a handheld. Younger hold? than me listening, right? Well, to Dave's point, Josh Richards listens every week. How do you think he'll think? What do you think he'll think of the pick? With Josh Richards. Mm -hmm. He does. No. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> the, oh, the, the, the BFF. Guy. Guy. BFF. I know that. I knew. I know Josh Richards. Yeah, I know. Him. I'm not trying to be hard. I know no. who that is. that's the, that's BFS with chicken fry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Um, it's a it's it's a it's a first rounder for sure. I I I've, I'm okay, like. What's your hesitation, Ed? Nothing. I'm I'm mad. I couldn't get it, but I just couldn't pass in sectional, so I can't be too mad. But it's a first rounder. It is. It's fucking a one. This holds up for you, right? You've played this. Oh, big time! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What well, you're 22? It was on my right? board. 24. 24. I, dude, I feel you just turned 21. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking How nuts. have you been at Barcelona now? Five ish years? Six years uh, oh. next week. Wow. That's crazy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Little, remember little Bob Fox who just got famous for not jacking off? <laughs> not jerking off. 19 <laughs> days, baby. 19 days. No, come out of this dick. <laughs> no, come out of this dick. I, like, I have a memory of like spitting water out as I watch that rundown when you, when you said that. That was <laughs> my, this guy's all right. Ago. Yeah, Fucked that's crazy. <laughs> Chief, you're up. I'm taking a pool table. So we, this is, we had one. We never really 
and still it's still down there no one really uses it anymore but when i was in high school we would we played a game i think people call it russian pool we called it two ball you just play with your hands and it had almost like a ping pong uh energy to it where you're like running around the table scrambling you basically just have to like hit the other ball and keep the rally going uh but pool tables are sweet so you can either what, what are you grinning about <laughs> nothing kids in here what no no <laughs> no what's so we funny did. so i'm taking pool table pool tables to pick ed you're taking pool right yeah, you keep oh, saying yeah, pool yeah, table. Yeah, yes, I don't want. Like, I hate oh, doing this. All right. like, yeah, 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 right. yeah, sure. Good, it's oh a good pick. Yeah, yeah, yes. no, yeah, yeah. You get yeah. the chalk. I, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I'm billiards. Pool. But yes, yeah. you, like you need a pool table to play pool. So yes. But that's right. a piece of furniture. That's Carl's point. But you play a game on. Some of them go into both. Yes, they yeah. do. They so do. he drafted pool table, so pool would still be on the board. No, because I no pool. No, but he no oh he drafted not, this is he already billiards. Got I'm taking table. fucking billiards. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Rob. I work. Yeah. No, you're you're right. You're Can right. We fucking lease your brain every Monday. <laughs> but I'm, I'm taking <laughs> billiards is the game. Billiards is what I'm taking. Okay. Classic. Yeah. Same thing. Great one. If someone had a pool table in their basement, it yeah. was big time. It's always just something to do. Because it doesn't, you know, like you can have a game on. It, it's easy. You know, like it doesn't take a ton of energy. So it's not like ping pong. You're definitely working up a sweat. You can do a casual game of pool. Uh, so I, lo I love having a pool table. Pool. I get, uh, you get bored fast with pool. I, well, I mean, you got to be fast. good at it. I get bored game. fast with any of these types of games do you another thing too is if a pool table or i should say if someone's playing pool and you are uh in <laughs> if you're watching a sporting event <laughs> or you are relaxing and in the other part of the room pool is going on the sporadic clank of the balls same with ping pong and no rhythm or tempo to it can get frustrating i i couldn't agree more and i was going to say that about ping pong but i was like hey, i'll save it I, now, I totally agree. Now, it is really cool when someone's good at, at pool. Yeah, they take out the riser. And they, yeah. And they just fucking work their way around that table. That's pretty cool. This you know what I'm talking about? The, yeah. I do. Know, this is one of those things where, like, TikTok just knows my brain better than I do. I get, like, trick shot billiards on my feed all the time. That is. That's, really? Yeah. And I don't, like, it's not something I would ever watch, but at 15, 30 seconds at a time, it kind of sucks me lot, in. Yeah. yeah. And let's be honest, there are a few things as satisfying as chalk in your queue right oh, before yeah. you go. Oh, my God, that feels good. A little it's a good sound. Blue chalk or whatever. Yeah. It's good <laughs> Artificial yeah. intelligence has profiled you as a billiards enthusiast. Apparently. <laughs> and you yeah. don't even fucking play? Are you no, kidding I, me? Well, I mean, I, I do. Like, maybe I'll like play, one thing if Eddie was getting targeted I'll bocce probably, reads. I'll, yeah, but I'll play like maybe once a month at a bar or something like that. I'm good it, for a game or two, and then I'm like, all right. I'm, yeah, I'm right. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's about yeah, that's about it. I like a good pool hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's talk. The, I haven't been to one in a while. The bar down the street, Jake's. Um, when I lived in Lincoln Park, I would go there here and there, and the owner of it, he's a pool shark, and he'll hustle you. And he hustled me out of forty bucks one time. There you go. It was actually I I was happy to pay that forty bucks too. Yeah. That's like you know they say don't fuck with someone who has cauliflower ear. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck with someone who brings their own pool to stick. Back. Like those people, you know, eat your own little briefcase where they gotta pool like put around. it together like that, it's yeah. a fucking rifle. Correct, correct. Don't fuck with someone like that. Each row played pool. Yeah, he had a big case. So my buddy played a year for the Yankees and only a year in the big leagues. It was the only year he spent like ten years in AAA. Got one year at the big leagues. Was there for like two months. First two months of the season, they release him, whatever. And he comes home that summer when we're hanging out or fall. And of course, dude, what's it like? Which G are like? Like the question. As much fanboy questions as you could imagine, because he was like the first and the closest one to make it to the big leagues where you get these questions. And by far, his favorite teammate and his favorite experience would be going after practice each year, would take him to this pool hall. He's like, I like to play pool. You want to play pool? And he was like, I would love to do anything with you, Ichiro. <laughs> and Ichiro was just looking for someone to play pool. He's like, dude, I played fucking so much pool with Ichiro in spring training. It was the sweetest thing. He's so good. Carries the case. Fucking different type of sticks, different lengths, attachments. Like, just fucking balls out on pool tables. That's awesome. Ichiro. It's intimidating, actually, I think. He is but an intimidating guy playing as a whole. pool with Ichiro. That's sick. That is sick. Um... Good pick. I hope you got a big basement, card table, that pool. Is, yeah. That is, <laughs> you yeah. Know, well, pretty like fancy. The, that was one of the, um, like, the, like, every, you have a, pool has home court advantage when it's in a basement. 
you know like oh, like my my grandparents had one and they had like the uh like the support beams like the poles that like you would have to like reach around and like yes. and hit some of those shots my parents basement like one side of the table plenty of space the other side of the table you better you're hitting the drywall i was going to say that too a big con for pool is like if you, if you don't have enough room pool's tough like you know if one side of the table's unplayable that yeah, hurts. but it's not. That yeah, hurts. like it can't be like unplayable. Seinfeld. But if, but like I do like the element of home field advantage. Yeah, like you yeah. know when you got to use a shorty and when yeah, not. Yeah, right. Yeah, like you're already walking a shorty, and that person is not even. Yeah, like this guy, like that Dave talks about the pool shark. If I walked into any bar where it's just, open, I'm sure you would smoke me. You put me against him in, in my parents' basement, we're gonna have a competition because <laughs> there's certain angles that I know and certain rails that I know. Like everybody has, like you do have a definite home field advantage. Yeah, and, but and then also one more con Carl brought up about your card table. People are protective of the felt. Yeah, so. yeah. My, Same with I had my, Uncle John very protective of felt. Yes. Was he? My yes. my mom was like that for the first year and then just gave up. It was over. Yeah. Well, that's why you value the pool tables that are just fucking wild, wild west. You know they've been banged up. If yeah. you got a, like a buddy who's got older, you know, brothers, sisters, whatever, you know, there's been action on that table. Still you know, stained. beers have been spilled on yeah, that. No yeah. But but to the point when you're on a new one and it's like, be careful. That's an horrible experience. as like yeah. a 13 year old. My mom also, I would say, was smart and she got black felt. So it's just like you're gonna spill on it. Who fucking cares? Like yeah. it's just that's sweet. That sweet. Yeah, black felt. I've never seen that. That's so really sweet. right, Harry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys fucking summer together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fun. Fun. He was friends with my brother. <laughs> oh yeah, he's been to my my house. You know, a ton. It's like a very I uh, sweet put some holes in those walls. He sure did. Pool. Sure did. A lot of those. Yeah, Harry's head went through the drywall. A couple Dude, times. here comes so, Chief. Everybody be quiet. It's a power hole with that head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you put a bowling ball through there? Nah, <laughs> just, just fucking Harry Bogle. Take Harry's down head. the foundation of the house. Yeah. Yeah. We got two producers in this office that can't wear hats. Their heads are so big. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a Tom. Tom. Chicago fun Oh, fan. Tom. Yeah, Tom's big head guy. Yep. Yeah. Love Tom. But I got a big head. I'm seven and five eight. eighths. Tom's eight and a half, I think. Is that what it is? I don't know. It's like Kevin Mench. Yeah, Kevin Mench had a big head. It's unbelievable. Like, you can't wear hats like that. Sorry, Tom's like, he's got good nine. lettuce, too. Kevin White Sox Dave's up. All right, so I think there's only two worthy picks for um for a uh, rec game left and i'm gonna go with the one that has multi-use i'm going with air hockey um because you can play poker on it and it's i don't know air hockey is just fun it has to suck playing poker on an air hockey table though why is it why do you say that so, I don't know. What I mean, it's not turned the, on. Obviously. The cards ace. slipping into slots yeah, that they're not supposed to. <laughs> the be. ace slides that into the That would actually be yeah. kind of sick if you're like when you're dealing. Yeah, you, know, is, just, you have the air on, just whoosh. the fucking hum of that thing <laughs> in the background. <laughs> now it is nice that the hum comes with the accidental AC, you know, because I'm always looking for more, so you get a little taste of that when you're playing on it. But true, yeah. Nice little uh, breeze. Here's my problem with air hockey. It's it's rarely as good in a basement as it is Fact. at an at arcade. arcade. Fact. That's fair. Rare. Fact. I Fact. would say, and it gets so violent too. Talk about violent games. People always get fucking crazy yeah. with the air yeah. hockey. But thing. even like, that, right, the right, fucking. Right. Well, you're gonna uh, work up a sweat with that. The what is it? The, the, the holders? The fucking? I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. The, the little, the little the joysticks. Yeah. The joysticks. Whatever, whatever, whatever called, it is, yeah. they're, always they're always more flimsy. They don't have as much bite to them. You know, they're always just yeah. like cheap plastic compared to the good ones. I had a. We had a friend that had one, and. I feel like it was a nice one by basement standards, but it would turn into a game of bloody knuckles because the puck, like yep. I don't, there's something about doing it at an arcade. The puck never flies off the table. This thing, it was, it was taken off, and it would just, it would hit you right in your fucking, and like literally, you'd mm -hmm. be bleeding by the end of the game. That's fine. Nice. Yeah, it's tough. Um, so yeah, it's it's a classic, Dave. So you get respect from that, but practicality. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been my first pick at all yeah. for this category. It's also interesting. You said there was only like two left. I think there's so I think it's the this. deepest yeah. category by I, far. I, I said far. that. I, got, I, got I think my no, I know there's a ton of them, but that I enjoy classic like classics. There's only two left. I think I'm, I'm looking Unless at I'm missing five out. that I love still on my board. Mm -hmm. We'll mm -hmm. have to find out, I guess. There's a lot. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, OK, it's to me. Um, air hockey's off the board. I'm going to go with the miscellaneous feature. And that's just, you know, you don't want to go upstairs when you want a snack or you want a beverage. You need a stocked fridge. 
and that's that's it's key. You just go you don't there. You keep food in it though. No, so just beverage, even just beverages. Yeah, so I shouldn't even say snacks. Just beverage fridge. Yeah, you know. Stocked. It's the old fridge. It's not like, or yeah. is yes. it a new yeah. cheap fridge or is it the one that your parents moved down from the kitchen because they finally yes. ponied up the catch and get the sub zero because your mom's sick and tired of refilling the ice trays because your dad's too fucking lazy to do it? Correct. Okay. Good. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, stock <laughs> beverage fridge is crucial. Grab some fucking Capri Suns. Whatever you want. Water, whatever you want. Load it up. Yes. Beer. Yeah. Like, yeah. Obviously, you get a little older. You have to worry about bringing it upstairs, and you know, that's usually where they put like the deli trays too. If you're catering like a graduation party or something, and they have like the big stuff that they can't put in the main, so it's like just put it down in the basement fridge. Yeah, so there's some yeah. good stuff to snack on usually. Yes, and yeah, everyone, and, and like to go upstairs, like even when you're older now, and it's like I bring a cooler down or something because you don't want to keep going upstairs. So and not a mini fridge. I'm talking like a no, full, yeah. full, just yeah. like an outdated, yep. stocked beverage fridge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fridge was the number one thing on my list for, for for this category for miscellaneous feature. Yep, I think that's crucial. I agree. Good, good pick. It's a good oh, pick. I got it. I got it on my check board. This group Ready? chat. Go ahead, continue. All right. So, stock beverage fridge is my pick. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what? Robbie, back to you. All right, back to back picks here, right? Yes, sir. Yep. I'm gonna go. Uh, wall slash table decoration first. Mm. Now you guys tell me if this is allowed. I think it should be allowed if we're allowed to draft card table under furniture. I'm going to draft a dartboard as a wall decoration. I would say no. Can't do it. Can't do it, but you can draft a I, card table under I furniture I under a different that category. That it's got to be like a... Uh, I there's think no, gotta have legs. There's no cards allowed on the card table. <laughs> it's just a piece of furniture. <laughs> no, I think this. I'm plays. not even saying we have to play darts. I'm saying I go into a basement. I see an old dart board. I'm like, I'm in the. Ah, right uh, okay. You I'm might get a ping I, pong I, paddle on the graphic. He's I, gonna get a full fucking dart board. I, I think the dart this board is, I'm plays. I'm getting fisted right now. Because uh, eventually sure. you get sick and tired of playing it, and it just becomes decoration. I guess. Nobody plays darts a year into having a dartboard. I, I'm sure I, we're going to have some darts hardos that come out. Now. I fucking play my of course, dartboard yeah, no, you're right. No, I, I take my veto back. I will allow it. I, I would say I no. have turned into a, a dart hardo because we have one in the office now, and I play every day. I play I would Tom Lay no. just It's such a clear-cut But you're looking for a loophole. I just, it's just so clear-cut that it belongs in a category. He knows what he's doing. And I rescind my, res my recension. Is that a word? I rescind. I do veto, actually, you because double, you're you trying to find a It has to function loophole. in its primary form. I veto you. Yeah, I veto. Robbie Fox, I apologize, but you vetoed. Been, you've been Unreal. Vetoed. All right. I'm going to go with a, a clear-cut wall decoration then. I'm going with a poster of dogs playing poker, fellas. Oh, oh that's, that's such a better pick, too. That's such yeah. a good pick. That's what I'm going to go with here. I liked the dartboard pick. I do love the dogs playing poker poster. I'm not even a poker guy myself. But just, I see that poster. I'm like, I fucking like those dogs. I haven't those dogs. <laughs> dogs. <laughs> it's a great poster. For, those boys are having a good old time. Yeah. Tell me if this is this is another one that I'm afraid I'm, I might get vetoed here. For miscellaneous feature, I would like to draft a bong. I will not I, take that. I'm not vetoing if it's a that. If it's a basement bong, I, I think that's... No veto I here. Think that, I, I think that's such a basement thing. You go down and you see a bong with water already in it on the table. Yeah, and it's all disgusting thing. water and needs to be yeah. cleaned and yeah. But well, you're going to take a hit out of it anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like you. everything. It's like we could go smoke weed in any basement, but Robbie's got a bong in his basement. Mm -hmm. Like that's, Yeah. So there we go. I'm going dogs playing poker in a bong. Wow. Okay. I just, so got, good. I just got this dogs playing poster picture, actually. You mean you, you just what do you bought mean? it? You framed? just bought it? My friend just he, he moved in with his girlfriend. And like we always told him like when he makes the move like just will it down to us, you know? And yeah. he, he gave it to us. That's nice. Nice to live with a couple of You guys do I treat like when someone of moves into a significant <laughs> yeah. other like it is a death, so that is kind yes. of it, it, it actually is a death. Though. I feel like I got like zero friends now. We lost Sean. <laughs> that has to be like top five most sold or most recreated images ever. Maybe. It's great. It's like Jesus Christ. I was gonna say Jesus number one, this Mona, is probably number Mona two. Lisa yeah. and then maybe this. It's great. Yeah. It's a good pick, Bob. Thank Good you. picks back to back. <laughs> Anything called a bong? You probably, I mean, yeah, I love a bong. I mean, I have strong endorsement here. No, no pushback. Love a bong in a basement. Would love to fucking smoke weed with you, Robbie, and hit like, of course, of course. I let any day. 
And that's not even trying to be a hard one. Just a bong, a cool, clean, crisp bong hit is just so, any like, oh, I got there. a volcano or nice I've got this vaporizer. Bong. Like, nah, dude, this clear crystal glass is just perfect. Bob, were you, that's, were you a weed like guy in, in high school? No, not till I got to Barstool. Okay. Remember so, when you got so wondering. high, you thought you were having a panic attack and you had to get rushed to the hospital? I never got rushed to the hospital. I, I, I told Trent to call 911, and he never did it. He just gave me an anxiety pill, and I was fine, which <laughs> is, is a pretty pretty okay thing in this company at this point because Dave actually did get rushed to the hospital. Right. So I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, no, you yeah. thought you were having a heart attack. Over here. You thought you were having a heart attack, right? Yeah, that was. I thought I was having a heart attack. Not a convinced. panic attack. That has actually... And I passed out, too. I blacked out, which was like... I hadn't blacked out before. I blacked out and hit my head, and I was like, what that's, the fuck? That's a great blog. I, I mean, people should, like, that was a riveting blog. I remember yeah. reading that. <laughs> it actually, like, helped me when, when it went legal here and I got edibles uh, the first time. I took one, and I was, like, having, like, a moment. I'm like, actually, no, like, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. Oh, it was the best thing that ever yeah. happened to me because yeah. I've never had a moment even close to that ever again. Right. I just realized, like, when I'm like, oh, I think I'm having a heart attack. I'm like, well, you got to set really your limit. Attack. I yeah. can just have fun with it's it. It's like yeah. when you're in the basement in high school drinking for the first time. I didn't have a limit and I puked my brains out mm. <laughs> for with alcohol. But I mean, same thing. You got to you got to find you, you I found your limit in a, in yeah. a stooley basement when I was uh, when I was an intern. That was embarrassing. People were like, Octagon Bob's puking. <laughs> oh, really? The uh, the image of Trent coming out of his room, like panicked as fuck, of seeing you on the ground. <laughs> he's like, what's going on? You know, he's like, I'm having a heart attack. Well, what does it feel like? And he's like, okay, Robbie, I don't think that's what it feels like. So I don't An think you're underrated having... <laughs> moment in the story. Trent, especially at the time, not much of a weed smoker. Like had 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 experience smoking weed, but just didn't smoke weed a lot. He got high for the first time in months this night like moments before this happened so trent was high like trying to he's like you want me to call 911 and i was like i'm dying tell my mother i love her and he was like what the fuck that's, that's such good a good thing blog. he didn't that would have been an expensive ass fucking we gotta, we gotta shoot that out on dog walk i was fine by the time the, the stretcher would have got there yeah <laughs> unreal um, all right, it's to me. I'm going to stay in the wall size table decoration category as well, and it's it's a neon beer sign. Okay. See? Nothing nothing crazy, but mm -hmm. I, I do think that that's, for a basement, that's that's an A1 pick for this category. It yeah, it's a good one. I had that on my list. It's really Alternative good. source of light. I'm not even a beer light. guy, but it is. Yeah. Alternative source of light? Alternative source of light for basements is just a great play here. In the what did was this what'd you say wall decor? Yeah, yeah. Neon for beer purposes of like vibe and there's just something about like the lights are off but the neon signs on. Like we have that with the man cave over there when the lights are off but the neon lights are on. They're, it's just a really cool like relaxed. And, and you know what? Like there's so many great designs. Like you've ever been to a bar and just like that's sick. You see one like like Four Trays has that that NASCAR one. It's so cool over the pool table. And uh, Carl, you might know what I'm talking about. The NASCAR car over yeah, the whole, yeah, yeah, it's so awesome, you know? And like we like marvel at architecture and like paintings. Like those guys deserve more love. Dude, when we were designing this office, we went to that, oh, that place that <laughs> did the neon, like the custom neon signs. Like this is unbelievable. I yeah. never knew that's how they made it. They're like basically blowing glass and like getting super hot and twisting around. It was very cool to watch. Yeah. Oh, well, that, the story continues though, because we were walking around and it was so fascinating. And the guy was so interesting explaining how yep. easy it was for him to manipulate the glass and create this. And this is all this. And here's my uh, fucking apprentice in the back. And it's just some like 50 year old guy in the back just bending fucking glass. Yeah. And, and she's like, hey, would you ever be interested in like sitting down and talking about like, you know, neon glass and how you came together in the business? Really interesting. Yeah, he basically like threw us out. He's like, yeah, everybody get out. Of here. Why would I? Why would I show you guys what I do? Why yeah. would I? Why <laughs> would I? Yeah, 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 yeah. The neon sign crew ain't. That's Holy a tight shit. industry, man. Yeah, yeah. They trade secrets. They're bro. not revealing the secrets. And no. like the uh, the fifty year old guy who wasn't the, the apprentice, he literally said apprentice. Who was like, you, like, how long is this guy? Like, <laughs> he's probably been an apprentice for like thirty years. <laughs> like, he's just never been able to elevate above that level of uh, that status. Maybe that guy's got to die. But. Just, just be. Whoa! <laughs> what? 
to Whoa, become like wait, King. Oh, you know? for the appearance yeah. to get promoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I followed you. Uh, still like. Yeah, I followed it too. Yeah. But and then, I mean, and then like I maybe said, that's yeah. how it goes in the neon world. I don't, I don't know. Like Zach's Day, like, like, maybe, it's, Thrones, yeah. maybe yeah. it's time for us to kill them, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't no, say so, no to dog walking. Yeah, yeah. yeah if the, fuck. Watch if that the owner of that neon sign store goes missing or something. Look no further than his apprentice. The the guy who's been waiting in the wings for thirty years. But um, no, they've just been able to make so many cool, like Miller Lite, like Bears and Cubs collaborations, and like you know, seeing yeah. the, the Cub on it's so cool. Those it neon is. beers, agreed. Signs. And uh, the, I think the logo you skipped, the Hawks one in neon, is like the absolute best. It's it's, yeah. it's great. It's sick. It's great. It's great. And speaking of the Hawks, speaking of the Bears, uh, you can uh, go to a game this fall. Game time, baby. With the game time app. Um, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. If you haven't given Game Time a shot yet, we don't know what you're waiting for. You guys are going to love this app. Uh, MLB playoffs are underway. Uh, Carl, I mean, you've been to some stadiums. And, and like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Yankee That's Stadium great. is going to be rocking. And I know we got a lot of people in New York listening. Like, yep. just. Browse that app. I Browse heard, that app. Because people tickets. think that it's like going to an MLB playoff game. It's like, oh, man, if I get tickets, it's so hard to get tickets. Go check out Game Time because the price, I guarantee the prices are going to be more affordable mm-hmm. than you think. And there is quite literally nothing better than being at your home team's stadium for a home playoff I heard, game. I Wish heard the I, guy uh, who caught Judge's 60-second uh, ball use Game Time. I doubt he got it. Him, he got that ticket for like 10 bucks. He's a trust fund baby. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> um so uh appreciate that game time now yeah. It's, yeah now's the time to give game time a shot for these mlb playoffs uh we've got a tons of barstool fans using it hitting us up on social about the great deals they're getting so download the game time app go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code dog walk for 20 dollars off your first purchase terms do apply download game time last minute tickets lowest price guaranteed all right white Sox, dave you're up i'm just, i'm gonna take my uh furniture here and i'm gonna go with the g I don't like it per se, but I need it. And then I think it's the most specific to a basement for drafting purposes. I'm going to go with giant beanbag chair. Mm-hmm. I think they're a staple for, you know, a shitty basement, unfinished basement. Um, and they are actually kind of comfortable. I hate them. Look, listen, he acknowledged it, though. Yeah. Like, he didn't yeah. come and saying, like, this is what I this is what we right. need. Like, where he's at in this draft, like, it's it's a fine pick. I think it's a basement thing. Yeah, it's a it basement is. thing. Yeah, I I have always hated them though. They're not that. They're not uncomfortable. I wouldn't like you know. You get a hernia getting in and out of them if you split. I them, mean, then the yeah, little if you're little... you, someone who's <laughs> not an athlete. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, you're the pinnacle of core strength over here. But it's more core strength than you. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but it, then if they split, then it's like a mess, and it's like they get worn out. I don't know. I think beanbag chairs. No, they definitely stink. have they have their warts. I, I but also, they're a staple of a basement. I also feel like I Back. haven't seen one since like 1995. Oh come on! No, I had a beanbag chair growing up. That's what I would play video games. It was in probably my purchased in you'll 1995. Start, you'll start seeing them. I would say about 10 years from now, when like all our friends' kids are like of. Age to yeah, be playing maybe. video games in basements. And no, shit. they still make. Them. No, no, I know they still I think make. Barstool has a beanbag chair sponsor. I'm not even kidding. Oh really? Come on. I think I think. <sighs> Haven't sent one here for for the office for Chief so we can reevaluate. But they're like new. They're like new, like sleek looking beanbag chair. I swear. If yeah. that's true, we're gonna have to have them send us one for the office. Yeah, I feel like they're in the uh, like the gaming room or something. I, there's one right outside the chicks in the office studio that's pink, and I swear if it wasn't pink, I would steal that. Yeah, yeah. They, steal that's the thing, though. I do think they do make some. It doesn't nice match ones. decor. Yeah. I I haven't seen one, but may, I, I'm sounds like I'm wrong, but I was never a fan of those. I think it's early to take beanbag chair. I mean, really? it was. It was. I, I, I like to get, it. I like the pick. Thank you, Bob. And it's also like if there's not enough couch space to lay down, you just fucking you know you just. Oh, and you've been there for hours, and you're like, oh, I it's like the relegation it. chair, though. <laughs> like, like Carl's talking, you have everybody over. Well, like the last person looking for a spot to stay, sit in sits in the beanbag. It's kind of a great place to pout too if you lost a ping pong game. Sounds going a little late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't sit on it. <laughs> yeah. Make no mistake about it. You don't sit on it. You flop into that. Thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like a little back flop. Nobody yeah. wants a beanbag until it's like. 
hey, we should throw on uh, the faculty or Scream or something. Put the <laughs> yeah. lights down, mm-hmm. and then you're sitting around watching the movie. Then the beam. He's never on the seen floor. Scream. You know that? I haven't. Oh, no, it's a good wild. movie. You should watch it in October. Yeah. That's Halloween month. That's why I keep it's getting told. G- yeah. Uh, Chief, you're up. Uh, all right. Uh, this was on my list, but I, was, I thought I'd be able to take it in the fifth round. But because Bob took Bong, I'm taking Fabrice. So as a miscellaneous item that you need for the basement, you cover up all sorts of different smells for all sorts of different activities that might be going on down there. That is a, a staple. And also, the basements always have a little, a little must to them. You, gotta get a, you can uh, get rid of that with some Febreze. So if you got the boys over, you got a girl over, you're doing some recreational activities with Bob Fox, you need Febreze to cover all those smells. So Febreze it is in the, uh, in the third round for miscellaneous. Hey, guys, let's go to Chief. He's got air fresheners. That's a, that's a bit of a Danny Tanner pick. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh, You're covering that, up. At, that one, point, at, at, one point that. Ju- at one point, he just said, if you have the boys are coming over, a little Febreze. No. <laughs> Put, like, no. If you're smoking yeah. weed and your parents are upstairs, you need Febreze. That's oh, a you fact. Do think anyone's ever noticed, like, like, you go over someone's basement, you're like... It smells like fresh Febreze in here. Do you just spray? This is Dude, fucking good yeah. shit. You man. got Febreze in your fucking basement, bro. You guys, this is one of those things. Carl's where coming over. Get the Febreze out. Carl's not invited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but this is one of those things. This will be like Barada, where it's like, oh, like it. You guys, the four idiots around me, criticize it. It's actually a staple of basements when you're in high school. It is. You're no, not listen, trying to cover your tracks. You just said like you just had a great point. I don't think you said that in your opener though. I said if you're doing recreational activities with Bob yeah, Fox yeah. like that, and yeah, I okay, reference okay, his okay, bong pick. Okay. I get but that. But that's not even specific to a basement. Shh. Yeah, it is. It's specific to the little sp- cabinet under the sink or uh, like a, 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 a side closet. Like a pantry. Oh. That is, that would be a fire pick in a little cabinet under the sink draft. This exactly. Is, no, you got. This is one. Of the, I'm not going to get bullied on this. You guys are all wrong. I will be right. <laughs> same thing as unwritten. Same thing as Barada. You guys are all stupid moron brains. You need this for your basement so activity. In, in, your, your, in your basement, you got a lot of felt. Are you for breezing the felt? You just spray it in the air. Okay. Yeah. Right. Just let it. Miss I know what you're down. trying to do, but you you act like you don't do this or haven't d- done this. You need it. It's a staple. It's a good item. It's a. It's like I'm not shitting on for for Bree's a solid household item. You need it for the basement. Do I need it in my basement? You do. I don't know. If you, okay, say all right. Because you definitely had it in your basement. I'm gonna lay. So then you I'm gonna lay it. it out here right here like this. All right. I love this Say thing. you're smoking a joint or hitting the bong in the basement. Yep. You have Febreze everywhere. Are you leaving the Febreze in the basement or are you putting the Febreze back where Febreze belongs? probably stays in the basement. If you have a my, basement Febreze. If you go upstairs if you, and, you're, and you're digging around the cabinets for cleaning supplies, your mom's, my mom would be like, what are you doing? If my mom at, walked downstairs and saw a Febreze thing on the coffee table in the middle of the basement, she'd be like, why do you guys got Febreze I'd on be like, here? Oh, what it stinks down here. And your mom's that dumb where she believes that? I think, no, it's not that she's dumb, but it's like, it's everybody knows what's going on, but that's like a thing where it's like they look the other way and you, you tell a lie and they look the other way. If they come down and you're brazenly smoking weed in the basement, I don't know, that wasn't allowed in my house, but that would be, it was like, hey, boys will be boys, but don't like rub it in our face. Uh, I'm right I, about I, this. I, I you're, think, you're stupid. I don't, I think that, Febreze is no. That's a good pick. I mean, it's a good cleaning supplies draft. It's pick. no. It's a good pick it's for a basement one step draft. Away from drafting wet wipes. <laughs> yeah, wet I mean, wipes. I'd be disappointed Clorox, if this was Clorox the last wipes. thing mentioned in honorable mention. I'd yeah, but you guys are always second. wrong about this. You guys are always wrong. Let's get a. Can we get a third party arbiter? We in have here real five quick? parties. We have five parties. Yeah, bring it. Uh, uh, thank you. We got some. We got he's a, he's listening though. I want someone who uh, with fresh ears. How did you hear that? Were you sitting there? Let let the people. Oh, the people I, I might have fired off the studio. Request. Gotcha. The people could decide. It's okay. We'll be fine. There you go. The people will decide. Man, that smells like Chief's basement. Oh wow! It smells great. Thanks. Were you guys, smoking, up all were you guys smoking weed down here? <laughs> no, mom. There's just a bunch of Febreze in the air for no reason. Okay. Yeah, sure thing. All right, Febreze off the board. It's like that one <laughs> meme. <laughs> they all need to remove that from a draft. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and put a zero. Is, I will say this, though. The fucking loyalty crew following Barada. No, it's just people with fucking brains. Have, just 
let me for one second because I'm going to say something nice. I'm going to say mm. the people that are in the Barada crew and are like the frontline warriors with Chief and all that shit. You know that send them in the pictures and buy the T-shirts and and, I, and are in the group chat or whatever. Photoshop me on the Kim Jong Un. He might lose a couple now that he's nope. taking the Febreze. However, those that remain that are Barada and on the Febreze team. The, Chief is assembling is like some of the, the most the loyal fucking people. This is how like, you If they're gonna the ride game. with you through Febreze, this is the how people you, that, that are with you through good. this I'm Febreze pick that. are some of the best fans No, this is a available. good. This is a good pick. This is a good pick. I know, I mean, and the people who tell you that, you fucking nah, keep those people close to you. Nah, I mean, get your next pick on Google, whatever is on the top of the base oh, on Google no. search yeah. results. But this is this is a good pick. This guy's pandering and he's taking stuff to prevent you want people your from finding out he's smoking like weed. Kitchen. You don't want your basement to smell like the basement? What? You want the basement to smell like the basement. You're trying to make your basement smell like your kitchen. Your kitchen smells like Febreze? Your, your linens. Yeah. Like, uh, nah, yeah, yeah, you, guys, you guys aren't thinking Cleaning smart enough. Is but smart that... Enough. I just don't ever see a... Sit, like, ever. I've never seen just a bottle of Febreze sitting on the coffee table in the basement. You're, you don't have any like I'm cabinets. Sure it happens, Dave. I, of course, of course, of course. It does. Yeah. and of you course. don't have cabinets in your basement. No, no. I mean, no. You have no cabinet. You have a finished mm -hmm. basement with no cabinets. Then I have finished basement. Okay, well, this is okay. Well, then we'll get you a mop or something. I don't know. You're sitting around in, in cement. Probably like a lot of know. people do that. I know a lot of people do that, but this whole, th all of these items are so far have been like the finished basement draft. We. Are did we not? not uh, did we not talk about this, Bob? Like I, of course, you it's, said it's, I'm not talking about right, finish, finish, finish like carpet and like a bar that's like nice oak wood and all that oak shit. Oak wood bar. Yeah, right, this you said a that bar made out of. Show. It's like half finished. Yeah, like yeah. half finish, like half fast finish. You throw a shitty couch in a, one of those monster tube TVs. You know, yeah, and there's usually drywall and there's usually some of these other things. And oh, like sometimes there's not even drywall. It's just the studs. Studs, yeah, I don't know. I think most of the basements that we're talking about, I mean, are probably we got ritzy chief over here. No, it's not a ritzy thing. Yeah. Most people have a finished basement. I would right, say most Dave, people, uh, no, Carl, most people yeah. talking about the theme of this draft is not what you're saying, Carl. You're up. Um, oh, well, that was miscellaneous, yes, miscellaneous feature. cross it off okay um i will stay in miscellaneous and i will take a golden tea machine mm. the pick stinks yeah you don't like it. golden tea it's fucking oh, golden tea's great awesome addictive uh then why don't you like the pick yeah it just rounds I just out don't the whole think room is that that can be miscellaneous um, <clears throat> yeah, he said that you could double up right? on games. Why would you say on not? systems? So, I for miscellaneous. But that's totally different. This is like a different. This is like, this is in basement, so I think it applies. It's not. Like yeah, it's, I, this is a feature. I had that listed under rec game, more than. Did you? Yeah. Um, I don't think that's a miscellaneous. I I would say it's more miscellaneous because rec game is. There's a video component. In this, so I would say more wreck. I would, I would say it's good, personally. Do we need five from I think Febreze? It's fine. I feel like the room's kind of deflated right now. The room is fine. I just don't think Golden Tea is a is a miscellaneous. It's either like a video game or it's a wreck game. I don't think it's interesting. You agree, Robbie? You think because I think it's. I, think I it's when he first said it, I was like, yeah, like that's fine. I, I thought that was okay. I just don't think it very it vibes basement. It doesn't scream basement. I, I really? had one You've friend that had one. You've never been in a basement one. with a golden tea machine? I, I mean, sure, but that's the exception to the rule, I would say. I had a friend with one. I do so think, I. It, like, if you're, if you're, like, if, if there's a con for it, it's just, it's more of a, like, an adult a game. A rich kid danger. Yeah, yeah, or like, yeah, yeah like, like, it's more for the dad, like, it's your dad's, you know. But, like, I don't think it's, a, I think it's a good pick. I we think had it's one around to this office for a little bit, and, like, it got plenty of use. People yeah. loved it. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I like the game. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's like a bar game to me, but yeah, it's like a rec it's, game. It's yeah. more bar game than basement game to me. Yeah. Agreed. I would I would say it's draftable. So are we are we putting it down, or do you guys want me to – I'll revisit. I'll take a veto. I don't give a fuck. You guys – No, I'm not I'd like to have a nice it. conversation about it, but if you guys – 
if it's outside the spirit, I don't. I think Golden Tee hits, but you know, I accidentally put yeah. Golden Eye Machine. Yeah, we could get better dialogue out of miscellaneous. I'll take a I'll take a piece of furniture right now. I, think I, your pick. I mean, the, the yeah. Max pick, right? yeah, take a pick. Yeah. So, are we? What, what was my third pick? Do I get the golden team? Golden machine, or Do you want me to yeah. re? I think I, you get it. I think you get it. I feel like that pick didn't. Happen. No, I didn't veto it. No, I, I just don't I think, like it. I think it. I think it works. Okay, good. Because yeah. here's what I want to say about golden team. Now that it's on the board, it's it's usually not a nice machine. These machines are very expensive, and I got. I'm not gonna say like an addiction. I'm just like golden tea a lot to the point where like if I'm out with Mrs. Carl, we're at the bar. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go hit the golden tea machine, and like it is not outside uh like if i sit there for an hour and just pound away at the golden tea machine and pay no attention Ooh. it's not out uh, that's not like unnormal uh because it's very addictive and you're just kind of like you're tracking the scores and then you learn once you learn how to hit the shots and shit. it's a very fun and addictive game to play the ones that are in basements because they're they're super hard to get your hands on and like the new edition comes out like you see these new machines they're like twenty thousand oh they're, they're insanely connected expensive. like yeah. it's a it's all connected the same whatever like uh, network, I, I guess some would say. So the ones that are in basements are like, my uncle owns a bar and he got the updated Golden Tea machine and my dad got his old one that used to be in, and so it's like the 06 version. Like you're not gonna see any current nice Golden Tea machines. They're all shitty, the fucking screens waving in and out. Which is, which is fine. Yeah, there's character to it. I'm not For talking sure. about like the PGA Tour tournament. I don't need the flashy one. I need the one where like, hey, you have to plug it into the other outlet because that's the only outlet that works for the Golden Team machine yeah. because it takes a specific amount of wattage and for whatever reason, that's the way it works. Hey, you're in Pebble Beach, and, you know. Okay. How, how hard do you spin the ball? You know what? I don't I don't really, I, I'm not even joking, you're Dave. You're a pussy. Dave, I'm not even joking. I hurt my elbow playing Golden Team. <laughs> like I hyperextended my no, elbow and now I'm doing it again. It's still in there. Right here, hyperextended. You Which is such hit a, I'm like, how many hard old things can I say in one episode? But Just that's, as hard as you can, so it's spinning a million miles an hour. You only play anything at one pace. 100%. Yeah. 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 110%. Yeah. All right, Golden Tea Machine. Gone. Carl, you're up again. Um, We'll go into the furniture category. And I would like to draft a bar. Hmm. 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 See, I had this as miscellaneous feature. feature but it doesn't matter. It's right? absolutely furniture. Bar, yeah, I know, bar I know. is furniture? I mean, I don't... Definitely. I feel like a bar stool is He's furniture. laughing, so he might be trying no, to pull No, dude, I'm not one. laughing. I was sneezing. Like the full, like, is it just like the countertop that you're drafting, or do you get the full rack of alcohol behind it and every Like, do you get a full yeah, bar, or do you get like I'm a nice stocked. bar Eddie counter? Eddie took a full fridge. I'm taking just the regular bar furniture. Just okay. like a bar. Like, uh, you know, it's like magnificent. I'm building a bar at my house next year. Nice, Dave. But would you call that a piece of furniture, or is it like a built-in feature? Oh, like a feature that the room yeah. has. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. I had it as feature. Because that's why you said I took, probably, I took yeah. That was my feature. It was stocked. The fridge was stocked. You know? What was your feature? The oh, I thought stocked you were just taking the appliance. Suits. Yeah. No, I said stocked beverage fridge. You don't consider appliances a feature. like a type well, of furniture? In what category no. was feature? Like Can a, you explain eh, that? I guess like so. when you're buying a feature. house and it's like, is it appliances included? Yes. And then it's like, well, you you took your yeah, kitchen yeah, yeah, table? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, I kind of just like group it all together and they're like sub. Mm. No, I yeah, I see that. So you're telling me that the golden tea is more of a rec game and, and now the bar is more of a miscellaneous I didn't say feature? That. No, I'm saying I'm piecing this together. I'm, imp I'm implying. Or I said it was a miscellaneous feature. Golden tea. I, I think taking a bar is like taking drywall. Like it's just something that's built into your, like into your basement. There. Yeah. Like uh, you wouldn't I'm, take. I'm stumped cabinetry. on this one. I had it as miscellaneous feature though. I'm just telling you what I had it as. I would I would put it as miscellaneous after thinking about it. But at, Robbie Fox, anything on this? I had it under miscellaneous on my draft board. Okay. I think I think that says it. That says it. Huh? I do. Mm. I do. Right? Yeah. No, no I, mean, I, don't, I don't. I think it's part of like your your build out. Like you're not taking the bar. Like if you move, Chief, he's saying it's not. Yeah, yeah, you're not taking the Chief, bar with you. Not I'm saying it's not he's draftable. Yeah, I'm that's saying it's not draftable because yeah. I'm. It's, so yeah, that's, a what, veto. that's what we all said that's too. What, so, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought you guys were saying it was all. Yeah. I don't even. I think I would have vetoed it miscellaneous too. Is my point. Oh, really? Yeah. 
You're not just saying no to the pick I made. You're saying no across to the board. The yeah, but yeah. I think it is. It's like if no you're, bars in your basement. If someone has no, a bar in the it basement, is. It's a good missile. Oh, that's a that's a nice little touch. It's a nice feature. Yeah, it's a nice, but feature. It's nice feature. Not, you would say that. Yeah. But like you're not taking it with like all these other things. You're probably taking with you when you move. Like the other, it's like that's the whole the, the bar is like part of the basement. It's part of the it's foundation. It's a movable bar. Hey, one of our mutual friends from your neighborhood is a Chicago cop, and I went over to see his his wife. is good friends with my wife and. He had twins. He said, hey, come over and meet the twins. They had, like, you know, the friends come over for the first time to meet the twins. I walk in. I didn't see him in a while. We'll call him Frank. And Frank's like, oh, dude, Carl, thanks for coming. I'm like, oh, where are the kids? He's like, no, 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 I got you get. You won't believe it. You won't follow me. I thought we were going to see the kids. He takes me down the basement. He's like, just finished the bar. How nice is this? The acrylic, the paint, everything hmm. came out. So he was so proud of that. I'm like, where are the kids at? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> He's proud of his basement bar. about the kids. I was yeah. all over that bar. It's <laughs> interesting. You know. Um, all right. So. All right. So I need a new pick. Yeah. Um, let me log back in. What do I have listed here? Okay. Um, I'll take. The, it's going to serve the same purpose. I'll take a piece of furniture and I'm going to take the old kitchen table from upstairs. Yeah, I mean that works. Yeah, we have one in my basement. Get so much playing time. Um, Old kitchen table. Anything from you name it. You put the ping pong slats on top of that. I can't because I well I can't play ping pong in my basement because I don't have a table. It would be crazy <laughs> to put the slats down there. The storage. <laughs> That's what he plays on. He plays on the old kitchen. Yeah, table. yeah. No, I just yeah. I just yeah. drive oh, right down with my paddle. Table, yeah, yeah, just. She buys the net from the Dollar General. I have a collection of all the ping pong balls. Um, okay, so old kitchen table. Like I said, I have one of these in the basement. It gets a ton of playing time for serious use and recreational use. It's also nice when the pizzas come and you got to lay them out on the table. For the last furniture pick, I think it's I think it's solid. I mean, there's not there's not a ton you could have done you could have done with this. So. Well, I had another. I mean, are we out of furniture? Is this the last furniture pick? We're out of it, but let's let's. Yeah, just I'm just wait. saying. Obviously, you no had another taking, one. Well, I'm just no one, no one, no one's getting out of here alive taking futon. Really? I it thought, was on my list. I thought I thought like futon was on the list. That's such a staple. Just that's a name. It's a. Sh I fucking a hate shitty, those things. They're terrible. They're so uncomfortable. Like oh, I like I like a futon. Yeah, you no. Like a good futon. It was yeah. like I'm third on everybody's yeah. list, but oh, Robbie, fun. well. Every basement had I one, had a futon but nobody in my liked room them in high school, and I like slept on that more than my bed. Hmm. I've slept on a million probably futons in college. Probably the reason I have so many back issues, to be honest. <laughs> exactly. That's what they always say. Don't sleep on the futon. Don't get, you got to unjunk your sleep. <laughs> yeah. Robbie. Mattress firm. Um, That's right. All right old I would love it. If Mattress firm wants to send me a new mattress, I'm in the market. They told me they were sending me one last year and never did. Damn. That's fine, though. They owe me one for winning Survivor. I got to hit them up. Uh, Chief, you're up. I'm taking NBA Jam. So I love NBA Jam as far as Sega game goes. That was probably the one I logged the most hours on. It's a, it's a good one with your buddies. We had that NBA Jam event. Uh, was it 2020? February yep, 2020? Right before COVID. That was, I think that's probably the, still the best event that we've put on. We had guys there with like thunder sticks, like rooting for their friends, like, I don't know, hundreds of people. It was awesome. And so NBA Jam, I think, still plays. Uh, if if we had one in the office, I would be challenging people all the time, even though I was never very good at it. I loved playing NBA Jam. We got one in our office now. You'll be happy next week. Oh, that's great. We got like the arcade style. NBA uh, Jam. I feel like that one's a lot harder. Yeah. So you're going Sega, Sega with NBA Jam. Sega, oh, Sega, Sega, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the right move. That's still like my one of my favorite things we've done. I always forget that the arcade one exists. Yeah. Like I, mm -hmm. when I say NBA Jam, I just only think it's the most popular Sega. form now. Yeah, I would say people have those now more. Right? I wonder how yeah. much live event Lisa had to scour the earth to find. What was it? Like? I think it was just a company she outsourced. At the yeah. Time. Oh, she yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had like eight Segas and eight NBA, but I wouldn't like they all worked at varying like, and they weren't all the same ones. So yeah. I was like, this one doesn't have Sean Kemp. Yeah, you know, yeah, who, uh, who tripped the power cord, dude? Didn't somebody trip a power cord? Dave. Oh yeah, it was. I ran into him yesterday. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah, tell you guys later. Uh, our former producer oh. did that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Remember when he got asked where he's going with that that water bottle at the Notre Dame game? <laughs> 
I don't think he was around at this point. So I yeah, I thought it was true. somebody no? else. Yeah, no, he yeah, was I think definitely it was a not different producer. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're right. So, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. right. My bad. Um, great pick, Chief. Sega. Sega. Why Zach Dave? Um, I'm saving my miscellaneous for last because I, and you guys better allow it. But um, I am going with empty liquor Aren't bottles scared. for decoration. Oh fuck yeah! You putting the highlighters in there? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, that works. Does that come with a black light? Uh, it should. I guess. Sure. Are you just t- saying like, oh, we drank this bottle of Smirnoff, so it goes on the ledge? Or are you Both. saying you put the highlighter? In I mean, I did the highlighter thing, but an empty bottle of Smirnoff that was like, ooh, we're drinking high class tonight. I'm talking like, yeah. Now I'm not gonna say I say plastic bottle alcohol, and I have graduated from plastic bottle alcohol over the last decade or so. But um, but yeah, a glass bottle like Jack or or Smirnoff or whatever that was, we're saving those and we're like making a little pyramid with them. I feel like that was. I don't think of basements for those, but like it's a good pick. But I think of like college. college more, yeah, yeah. Depends on the basement. For Almost sure. like a college kitchen. Like you would put them on top of like yeah. the cabinetry. I agree with you, but if this is this is Dave's basement, if he wants yep. empty liquor bottles, he's. Are all decorations picked at this point? No, I still need a decoration. Okay, I'm not going to say anything then. Um, all right, empty liquor bottles is gone. I'm up. I need a rec game or a system. This is very hard. Fuck. Well, especially because Robbie doesn't have either, right? No, he does have. No, I don't no, have. He doesn't I don't have, either have rec one. game or system. Those are my last two. So you guys are duking it out. Yeah, You're duking it out hard. Which one is he more inclined to steal from you? I know. Probably not the one I'm going to pick, but. Fuck. All right. I'm just going to take. Uh, I'm going to go with the system with a game. I'm going to pick what I think is the best. I don't know. I'm, I'm taking PS2 with Madden. It's just. It, it was. You get, ah. you get the boys around. Are you picking a specific Madden here? I'll take the. I think it was 04 with Michael Vick. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I I just think it hits harder than like I have one that I that I that is I like a little more, but Madden tournaments and basements were were big too. So I'm gonna go with Madden. Yeah, I just wasn't a Madden guy. I never liked sports games. I, like, I at did. Any point in my life, other like, than like Ken Griffey Jr. If baseball. If you if you had, that was great too. If you had taken um, a college football game, I would have been like, oh, good pick. Madden, yeah, I think I, I, take, I think it's a personal preference. Like, no, I was never a Madden guy. Yeah, but I think you guys are sleeping on Madden. Like Madden was extremely popular. It's iconic. Oh, it's still, yeah. it's iconic. Yeah, I just I like just, the groan for Madden and PS2 was a little much. You know, the thing though that happened around this time when yeah. the Mike Vick game came out is when it got really easy to plug into the internet and just play strangers and you know mm-hmm. be fucked. So then it kind of got away from like you could do the internet in like 2004. Yeah, on, on Madden, dude. You, could? you oh yeah. I've, I've said this before. There was, like, prior to Xbox Live yeah, and up, online Miller. gaming. Do you guys remember Sega Channel? It was, like, very uh, primitive. I didn't have it, but It was subscription-based from what I remember. So it was, like, 50 bucks a month, and you had, like, every Sega game, and you would have to connect to the internet. It would take, like, 10 minutes. And, like, that was the start of online gaming. That was, like, the mid-late 90s. Madden 2. Like, yeah. Like Madden, way ahead of its time. Madden yeah. 09 was the first time you could play online. That is uh, That is not... That is not true. That's what Google just said. There's sure. I don't remember. There's no way, Madden. No way. Oh nine. No, not oh nine. It, that, what are we like, doing you could play Xbox Live on the original Xbox. Craig Miller came yeah, exactly. And that was oh three school and taught me how oh, to three set or up four. Yeah. Yeah. that connection to my PS2 so I could play him because he was sick of driving over my house after school so we could play each other at home. No, I think that's gonna hit for a lot of people. Madden was fucking super popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a good pick. Yeah, like there's one that's like I like more, but now the tournaments with the with the thing that's a thing. It was huge. Now that would happen in basements. I always thought more though, and I don't know if you guys lived in the frat house with like a lot of people, but there'd be enough where you'd have like you know six, seven guys coming in or out for like a pregame before you go to the bars, and that's when are we done with games? Systems? No, Robbie. No. no. Okay. All right. Well, I have. I have one. Uh, but that's when you would like set up the tournaments or whatever. And even if, even if it was you and five other like three other friends, it's like all right, let's do a four man like tournament. 
Um, this is like a hard thing to find because some things it says it happened on it in was, 1988, which also seems impossible. Definitely, definitely, definitely not I 2009. Can, there's <laughs> no reason no we should be spending another second on whether or not you could connect to the internet in PS2. I mean, I know for a fact I It's a thousand it. percent fact. And it's not internet relevant PS2. at all. I mean, it's, yes. Yes. It's, okay. All right, Robbie, you are up. All right. I'm going to go with uh, system and game here. One that I feel like maybe shows my age, and it's Xbox 360 and Halo 3. This was for me and my friends, our our golden eye, basically. This was like mm-hmm. every single night we would do custom games. Yep. Fun, you know, get a bunch of people in the... So there was always one guy who had like all of the custom games saved. So you get everyone in that guy's lobby. You would play, I think... Halo 3 is the reason why I'm a fast eater. Like, when I go out and eat, I'm always the first one done with my meal. And I think it's because I got so accustomed to trying to finish my dinner before the next online game would start (laughs) that it just stuck for the rest of my life. So I'm going Xbox 360, Halo 3, some of the most fun all-nighters of my life with friends on that game. And then for my rec game, I was really, really torn on this one, going back and forth. I'm going to go with Papa Shot, though. Uh, it's one of the most popular staples of the Barstool office. Every time I walk past that thing, I just want to get one shot in and then walk away on, on a made shot. So I'll, I'll go Papa Shot, a game that you could have one shot or you could even work up a sweat on it if you're real into it. I love Papa Shot. I love Papa Shot. We have one here in the office too that's we, so I, I hit it every, every, every day. I, I mean, you hit day. that thing. You every really day. do like love a Papa Shot. I like... I just like doing all sorts of But it, actually, yeah, because it's the competitive nature of yeah. having the high score because as soon as someone else posts, like, you, Danny, and... Yeah, like, if I, if I, I when I hit the high score, then I never play again, then Danny beats it, then I'm like, oh, I have to get it. But, yeah, and, and like, Halo is similar to wrestling for me. It's one of those, it's like a blind spot where it's like I, I know people were doing it I was and I just never played. beyond addicted. And that's how I know PS2, you could play online because when Xbox, was it, 03 or 04? Bob, probably the first one, yeah. The first one, just the OG Xbox with the big, bulky controller. The fat controller, yeah. Yeah, we would play. Like, it was so weird because you'd be playing people from, like, Japan, and it was revolutionary. And I would sit on Halo and Halo 2. That's where I stopped playing. I never got Halo 3 because that was when I was, like, done with college and shit. But Halo and Halo 2, just, I would spend fucking 20 of 24 hours playing that thing. When I was in high school, Bob, does that one hold up in your in your eyes? Like you said, Golden Eye is just or eh. two or three. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't yeah. need to no, hold up definitely. because we it, would we would do streams like as of fairly recently. Like yeah, a ri- even the original Halo we were playing and that holds up really well. As well. really, that's that's yeah. surprising. Then. It doesn't need to hold up though because there's a new one that comes out like every. Well, year, I'm sure, but six, like the way that he was talking and I and I think Eddie said it too that. Goldeneye just does not as a first and the Halo's first person shooter, correct? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like I and it's what are they yeah. probably six years apart? Something like that? No. Halo, no, no. Goldeneye no, came out no. like ninety eight. It was like eight, nine years, but yeah. Yeah. Not too far. Well, yeah. Yeah. I Two different say, systems. Halo was like or years, Goldeneye right? was like ninety five, I want to well, say. Well like N sixty four and Xbox three sixty are two very different mm-hmm. generations. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I never had a three sixty seven came out. Uh, very yeah. strong fourth and fifth round, I think. Like I said, I'm not a Halo guy, but I have respect for it. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so it's to me, I just need a rec game. It's tough. Last rec game is, is is a tough one because I don't love the one that you tried to sneak over us, Bob. Cause I one do, that I tried to sneak over? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I do think it That's ends like up that way. That's like the left, I feel like. Uh, so I'm going to take one I like a lot as an adult, but – Pry doesn't hit for a kid, but it's uh, it's shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. I knew you were going with that one. Shuffleboard's fucking awesome. Goes for an adult. I love shuffleboard. I love it too. I do too. I think shuffleboard is an elite. The only thing is, is I have one criticism. True shuffleboard. They're like ten thousand plus dollars, and they don't fit in your bag. And they don't fit. They're super long. long They're so long. The small ones aren't as fun. The The basement. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very. It's it's a great game, though. I love it. It's a very fair con, Dave. That's a fair con, but I think shuffleboard is the right move there in the fifth round. I was going to take. Now that everything's taken, though, I was going to take just a mini hoop. 
Like I don't know like if that the, would uh, be yeah. plastic. Yeah, one just you one like Fisher just, Price. Yeah, you yeah. just shoot yeah. with your buddies and like you could fucking maybe yeah. get some games on your knees. But. Yeah, the shimmy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then you just duck on them yes, and exactly. just stand over. Gonna take that, but pop a shot. I was like, eh, I'll stay away. No, that's a good. That is a good one though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a fucking that's one that. Well, they're good ones that that went undrafted. By the way, I thought foosball and hockey in a bubble were both like yeah, yeah both those are good. Yeah, those are very strong. I always sucked at foosball. Hate Did so you? I yeah, hate it. Tough. I also had like wrist surgery in high school, and I swear like that like it, it impacted killed my career. killed my foosball <laughs> career forever. And then I, bubble hockey is the same thing as uh, air hockey, where it's like there's just something it doesn't hit, and the basement ones aren't don't work as well. And I feel like true, they the little, always break. Yeah, the sticks will like get warped up, so then you'll just be spinning your guy, and the puck will be yeah. there, and you just can't fucking hit it, and it drives you insane. So, I got a good one for right. you. We get the honorable mentions. Okay, uh, White Sox, Dave, you're up miscellaneous feature I'm so scared. I'm scared. I had this pre-marked Better for my fifth pick you know because I knew nobody else would touch it I was hoping nobody else would touch it even though you're all gonna be like yeah peanut butter and Ritz a crackers. little precursor Ed sent out the group chat with four categories last night fifth one didn't come until I was driving here I open my phone and I look at it, it says miscellaneous I'm like all right whatever we're good wasn't until the draft I'm like I don't know if this will work, but it is a it is everything about a basement hiding contraband in the drop ceiling. You said a bone. You said miscellaneous feature. I neglected yeah. to read the word feature. A loose ceiling tile in the you hide yeah. drugs up there, porno mags. I think uh, drop ceiling to hide shit. Yeah. Hiding, yeah. 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 I just wanted the word contraband yep. in there. I, hiding contraband in a drop ceiling. I was I'll, the kid who. That, yeah always like that we we used to get report cards and progress reports yep. okay progress reports you run home from the bus snatch those put those in the drop ceiling and then scramble the rest of the quarter to get your grades up <laughs> that was the, when i was like eighth grade freshman year like that was i'm sure they're they're probably actually still up there uh, you, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh you should that'd be great i i mean i don't live in the house <laughs> i grew up in but i would love to know whoever moved in after us what they found in that drop ceiling I yeah. had a buddy All who, sorts of when shit. I was in I was in middle school and I was in a band with him and he had like drop ceilings that were kind of like torn away and rotted away. He just used it as garbage. I swear he would like finish a sandwich, That's... sprinkle up the wrapper and just oh. throw it up there. We were always like Dude, you're gonna what? get like, roaches yeah. and shit up there. Yeah, that's, that's, be, that's, like, that's I remember disgusting. vividly like Starburst wrappers and shit. He'd just throw up into the ceiling, and I was always like, "Dude, that it's your ceiling. It's your ceiling. Yeah, this what is your fuck? basement. What's that guy up to, Robbie?" I, he's real into jeeps now. He's got like all right, so he is you know, alive, off roading and stuff. Right. He, he likes to wave. Um, do you find with drop ceiling to hide shit? That's good. That's a good pick. I think that's a good pick. It's just I don't know. It's necessarily a feature, but it's like every basement. It's a good feature. If yeah, you have a it's a feature. yeah. If you're yeah. trying to it's cover up things when you're getting in For trouble sure. in the basement, that's a great thing to if have. If you're even if you're older too, you're trying to you know you're dipping a little bit on the side and you don't want your oh, wife to know you're on the top yeah. ceiling. Yeah. So this is the other thing where like we would always play like shinny hockey and things like that. Really, a lot of shinny hockey in the basement and people would score and you lift your stick up like instinctually and you would knock the ceiling tiles and I'd always be like <gasps> like what's, what's oh, gonna God, dude. what's gonna <laughs> fall out you, of there you get that yeah. you're like uh, uh, yeah you just said it too shinny hockey was my other one yeah, yeah. shinny hockey's that great I almost, that yeah. I almost drafted there a lot, of, a lot of knee burns on the yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's fucking yeah. blast. Oh, my yeah. God. Rug burn? Holy yeah. shit. What a, what a thing of the past. Yeah. You get past 18, you get no more rug burn. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Chief. I'll take the uh, the framed newspaper on the day of a championship. Like, that's something that we just always had. Like, that you, is I think you great. probably still have it in your. I have it in my current Yeah, for apartment. 05. Yeah, yeah, in my so current apartment. My dad, like, always it has those. It was a those. gift for me, yeah. for me for moving in. And it's like a moment in time, and you just like that That's is like um, I don't newspaper. know, yeah, just like the frame newspaper from the yep. day, the day of the championship. That's an awesome good. pick, yeah. awesome, 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 awesome pick. Very good, um, Carl, Mister Relevant. What do you need? Wall Sorry. decor. Wall decor, yeah. Um. All right. When you said the draft topic, or and you said wall decor is on there. There's one thing that was on my that just instantly comes to mind. I'm like, get out of here, get out of here. And the whole time I've been waiting to see if something else could pop in the head for wall decor. It's like this just keeps lurking. It just it's sitting there just waiting for me. And if I don't take it, 
I'm going to fucking regret it. Even though this pick sucks, I'm taking a Brian Urlacher fathead. Ooh, a fathead. Oh, yeah, specific. taking a fathead. Okay. There was some, the way the fathead advertisements came out, we were like right at the age where it's like not that cool. to th Like you couldn't put it in your bedroom when fathead came out. You were like 14. You were over, like you were, I had Britney Spears was on the wall. You're just getting but then it was like, man, it would be kind of sick, though. Like, he's fucking, that's a full-size, life-size rendering Sticker. of Brian Urlacher. Like fathead like, sticks out, though. <laughs> yeah. It's unique. Like, people are going to be like, ah, oh, fathead. I the, just think of it more of a bedroom thing. Yeah. The, yeah, the, it's like a real commitment to throw a fathead in the basement. Because <laughs> you can always just close the bedroom yeah. door, and it's like, that's my own personal space. The yeah. basement, you really have to be committed. I think it's a fine pick, not a great pick. The, the Britney poster comment I thought was, like, People are just like very comfortable being like, I'm horny for this girl so much that I'm putting it on my wall. Yeah. yeah. My, she I has to say, I, I had, I'm happy. I, no wonder all these kids have phones now. It's like, yeah, just let's, fucking go unlimited look at porn. Phone, yeah. 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 Let's hold. I want to do a, a classic posters one. So let's hold on the okay. poster talk because we've only drafted okay. one poster. So I'm happy. I was, I was a good You're concern. fearful of that? Yes. Yeah. And we only, Robbie's the only one that took a specific poster. Um, fathead. Yeah. Fathead. Yeah, I thought it was fine. a worthy Mr. Irrelevant. To yeah, totally, a lot of good picks totally, here totally. Um, and good discussion and banner and yeah. nostalgia. But <clears throat> they still play. My, my nephew has like Christian McCaffrey like all over his room. Yeah. He's six. But That's the best age, yeah. though, when you can just be like, I, I'm, I, I love, love Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. And it's just like, he's a god to you. I told him that he looked like Christian McCaffrey like three years ago and he hasn't let it go. But he's like, <laughs> oh, he's obsessed with football and Christian McCaffrey ever since. That's great. Um, all right, I'll read it through. We'll do honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. Robbie Recliner, poster of Dogs Playing Poker. Uh, Bong, Xbox 360, Halo 3, Papa Shot, Eddie, Sectional Couch, Stock Beverage Fridge, Neon Beer Sign, PS2 with Madden 04, uh, Shuffleboard, White Sox Dave, N64 with Goldeneye, Air Hockey, Giant Beanbag Chair, Empty Liquor Bottles, Drop Ceiling, The Hide Shit, Chief, Card Table, Pool, Febreze, Sega with NBA Jam, Frame Championship Newspaper, Carl, Ping Pong, N64, Mario Kart, Golden Tea Machine, Old Kitchen Table, Fathead. Rec games, anybody, anything else? Shinny Sticks was the one I was talking about, yeah. which I really looked at there. Darts went undrafted, which we talked that about. That was, so. I thought, yep. uh, that's good. We're, that's a, I can't believe I had, didn't get I had pinball on the list. Um, we never had yep. one, but I always thought that it was cool Like when somebody had one of those in their basement. So cool. Um, I agree. Yeah. Uh. My uncle's got an Evil Knievel pinball machine. It's pretty badass. Those things can be worth like a shit ton. Yeah, didn't it, you? Like, is, I went. I, yeah. had, I had the like the pinball master on. He's like the biggest. Yeah, Chicago's like the biggest. The factory is pretty big. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, uh, there's a there's a factory. Roan went on a, a bachelor party in that factory in Chicago. Oh, did he? I wonder if it's the same yeah. one. Stern it was pinball. the famous one with like John yeah. Mayer and Dave Chappelle showing up. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Stern pinball. Um. All right, then let's let's just move to system. The one I was between with PS2 and Madden was uh, N64 and Mario Party. Yeah, that was that was easy. I'm yeah, a huge... Mario Party was a good one. I thought uh, I actually thought when Chief was going Sega, I thought you were going right to NHL '94. Yeah, I mean, that, I had that on. I only had three on my list, and it was NHL '94, NBA Jam, and Mario Kart. But I I associate like being in the basement with your buddies more with NBA Jam. Um, and yeah. then I did like seasons with you know Jeremy Roenick and the Blackhawks on yeah. ninety four. So, um, but yeah, and be, yeah, that that's a classic like classic classic game. Yeah, I had WWF No Mercy on N sixty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one one of the all timers. Mm -hmm. um, and I also had SmackDown Shut Your Mouth on PlayStation two. <laughs> did you guys have Wii? No, oh, uh, in college yeah. we did. Yeah, I never had Wii. Either, we had but, like I we feel like that would be fucking oh Wii yeah. Sports. Yeah, Wii Sports was a big yeah. Wii. Dude, Smash Brothers on Wii. So on yeah. the 64, I loved it on 64, and I was always Kirby. And they added a bunch of moves on the Wii version. So once you got the hang of it, it was like fucking Battle Royale on there. Um, we got in a bunch of trouble my sophomore year for drinking to the point where if we got another one, we were booted from the baseball team uh, in college. So we went to my buddy's house. Um, he lived off campus and it was, it'd be like four or five of us and we, you know, all chip in for a handle or whatever and just drink on our own because we couldn't get caught again. And we got incredibly good at rock band. So I was the guitarist. Uh -huh. uh, my buddy Lou was on the drums and he would, we would be an expert on, on every instrument. And then my buddy Kane would be the singer. You were playing expert? 
I oh yeah. That hard oh, to dude, we, was hard. we would we played this for legitimate dude, months. You're fucking Lou on months, the drums. Don't question him. And months on end. I don't every question single Lou on the drums. fucking every every single night, Thank every you. single night. Thank you. He was like Rock Chad Band Smith was a great game. I, I find it hard to believe anyone was doing expert. Oh, we we <laughs> couldn't play every song in expert expert, but we'd get through a lot of the game on expert played for sure. Joan Jed, I love rock and roll. The first song in the game on expert. You, we yeah. probably. <laughs> I'll call him up after this. I'll put him on speakerphone Lou? for stu- right, stool we'll seat. talk to Lou. He's actually the AD at your old college now. Uh, no shit. Yeah. PS2 with NBA Street was my only other one. Oh, NBA Street was awesome. NBA Street was fun. NBA or NFL Blitz, too. Yep, Blitz. Yeah. Uh, wall size table. Blitz was awesome, yeah. I, uh, fuck, I should have looked at N64 Blitz more. Uh, wall size table decoration. Uh, that's not talk posters. Um, I had lava lamp. Mm. Oh, oh, that's a lamp, lamp. yeah. Good. That I had lava lamp drafted. and framed jersey. Framed jersey's good. Yep. Jeffrey Dahmer had a lava lamp in his apartment. Did he? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch it? I haven't, but they, it's like all over social. Or and I was going through someone's had pictures of Jeffrey Dahmer's apartment. I was just scrolling like a freak. Sorry, but he had a I'm lava sorry. lamp. You say it now every time I see him, I'm thinking. It, it was like, probably fucking melted. Lava, lava lamp, though. Street Bodies. sign was my other one. It's a classic Parking one. for oh, like Irish fans only. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. the old license plates. Yes. Um, did anyone else? We have, had. I, I mean, this, a deer head. If you're having taxidermy, yeah, I yeah. feel like that's always for wall In my dad's basement yeah. now, he he retook out all of my little league trophies from whenever we'd win tournaments growing up, and they're like around the. We have it's like a maybe foot wide sill around the edge of the basement, and uh, he like lined them up over there. But I think that's I don't. I think it's just me. Anyone? So, Sorry. I like it though. Uh, anyone else you know what any- feature a uh, sauna there's a couple of those the small ones the sick. built-in those yeah. are obviously very sick shout out uh jaybird coach sick. you know coach standring has a oh, nice yeah. one nice built-in that he put in himself i the looked at a house that had one he does That's i mean awesome. no one taking a bathroom like a half bath a urinal. A I had a urinal. Oh, you had a urinal? No, no, no. no, oh. no. I didn't have one. Oh. I had a urinal on my list. Fuck. I, wish I was like, how rich are you? Like, no, no one has urinals. I don't think it wouldn't Please. be a rich thing, but, but it's, like, it's, no one. Right. I've never seen it's, a house with a, with I've a seen urinal. One. I got a buddy, ATL Kyle. One. Shout out Kyle. See, yeah. Uh, like I think that's, Large had one. Yes, Large did have one. Of course. See, like, that's, yeah. that's awesome. But I that's think he moved out of that house. He did, yes. You're right. Yeah. That's a feature. I have Monster DVD collection. Little, little. I had that as well. DVD collection. I have DVD collection, comic book collection and then vinyl collection and i was like nah, i'm not gonna pick one of those yeah yeah but it was i had record player for miscellaneous too yeah like there yeah. was just something cool about i had jukebox okay oh i had, i had jukebox that's a good one I had my had uncle popcorn had one maker oh, oh yeah. that's that'd be one. nice popcorn yeah maker. huge when you're those watching movies fun. the guy who used yeah. to host our poker poker nights with his card table also had a popcorn maker those little when they little... have like all the little seasonings underneath too oh that's Ooh, I don't good know about they're like that. you want cheddar popcorn you want garlic popcorn tonight like whatever you sprinkle want. it yeah uh then anybody I else had, uh, also eddie you kind of texted me this last night i was like what does feature mean and you were like it could be something like a drum kit i thought drum kit was actually a good pick that's it was in people's basements mostly i feel or their garage yeah. i don't know oh absolutely in the it's, attic yeah yeah i didn't have any friends that were in bands so neither did i yeah but um, that's another thing I wish I did. Music? Yeah, do something. Never musical. too late to start. Never. It's not. I watched Never. Dave start. Uh, I'm yeah. fucking around on it still. Yeah. You no, I'm saying. What song is this? Let's see. Bob, did, uh, I want to hear you tell me what song. Yeah, this let's is. hold on. Let's finish this out, Dave. Yeah. Uh, did anyone else have any furniture? I mean, I, I love a good love seat. Yeah, I got a big one. I had yeah. a Papa See, San chair. You ever I hear had one Papa San, yeah. What's Those that? Fuck, look it's it a up. circle chair. It's like the wicker one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, My yeah. friend. I was between that and being that chair. My friend's older brother beat the fuck out of my buddy with it one time. It was it was scarring. With the dude. chair? Yeah, with the wicker chair, dude. He was smoking him with it. It was oh, uh, like, yeah. actually? I yeah. thought you might have drafted your... Uh, your chair that you watched uh, the Bears game in. But obviously not a basement thing, but I thought just for a, a Chicago bit. The meme chair, like where everyone says. A little says, lawn like, chair, yeah. Fellas say, look at my setup, and the TV's propped on the ground, and it's two lawn chairs, yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, what about a massage chair? Good one. If anybody, where they wrap your, yeah. they fucking, when they wrap your legs, and they're rubbing those your forearms. Those are great. And, yeah. One of those Brookstone massage chairs. Yeah, the one that has to, like, Sharper fall image. off a truck to be in your great house story. or something, because they're... Those are, those are the ones that are in the malls. And then, I'm sorry, we brought up mis- the last miscellaneous feature. I was going to take it, but it's just so disingenuous because 
I have a buddy in Springfield who has one of these. It's the only guy I know who has like a full setup like this. He has off his basement like carved out a full fucking golf simulator. It looks like walking into five iron. Good feature. And, I, and it's wow. not like a track man set up into a net off a piece of AstroTurf. It's like a yeah. full on, like you walk in, there's like a little putting green. And then wall decor, a guy grew up with his dad was off the boat Ireland contractor. And he went in the basement and the whole huge house, huge house whole back wall is a mural of like this of like an irish rolling pasture or whatever and they paid like a fuck ton of money to have some Sounds irish nice. artist come in and do all that shit but mm. that was a little too heavy can't trap that stuff. yeah shout out mr duffy shout out mr. for duffy. a feature would you guys have allowed mom making pizza rolls <laughs> yeah i would allow that <laughs> yeah. for sure for you, i yes. thought that would have been a fun one like yeah, a mom like, coming like down got, with like, snacks like, yeah totally like that's mom's that was mom's, what i was thought mom, for miscellaneous I've like, seen I've seen the care packages your mom thing. sends you, Robbie, and I would allow that because I, that's, she's the snack queen. She yes, really is. She is, yeah. Um, all right, this was good, Robbie. Thank you. This was a blast. Thank you for having me on. Hopefully, I'll be on uh, next time before like we wait another year or whatever. Yeah, yeah it seems to be the feedback. Yeah. 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 Robbie, to my defense, I tried many then. times. No, you, you did. You did. It was, it was oh, so it's your fault. Tooth removed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. For which That's which ones did you try and for? Hopefully next time we'll, we we get on earlier. We were going to do the album cover draft. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do we really have wish I would have done too. John Rich, John, John Rich, Rich. Great yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, great, did great. John um, all right, everybody, thank you for listening. That's it for today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll see you then.